Chapter 1. Sea Circle Calendar, 1478. The Great Pirate Rocks D. New World officially dominates the second half of the Grand Line. Captain Rock's fame spreads far and wide and is resounding throughout the world. Under its influence, newcomers from all over the world went to sea enthusiastically. Overnight, the number of pirates in the world increased dozens of times, posing a great challenge to Marine's authority. And at this time, clear sky, cloudless, a huge steel warship sailed through the wind and waves. The canvas on the mast is engraved with the symbol of a seagull biting a scale, which symbolizes peace and order. The situation in New World is very serious. I wonder if my stupid brother has encountered rocks. On the deck, Luchan was lying on a beach chair, holding frozen juice in one hand and the just-delivered newspaper in the other, talking to himself in a slightly playful tone. Next to them, many Marine soldiers heard this and suddenly felt speechless. The only one who dares to call Vice Admiral Garp stupid is the man in front of him. Vice Admiral Garp's younger brother, Monkey D. Lu Chun. In just three years, he jumped from the bottom of Marine to an incredible speed. Just last month, officially became a Marine Vice Admiral. Ever since he joined Marine, this man has been full of legend, no less than Garp, Sengoku, and Zephyr, known as the three pillars of Marine. Even worse, among pirate rumors, it is said that Lu Chun Vice Admiral, Garp the Fist, the resourceful General Sengoku, and Black Arm Zephyr have been named the four Uranus of the new era, and as one of Marine's legendary vice admirals. No one knows that Lu Chin's soul comes from the earth. When he was 16 years old, he was attacked by pirates, and he happened to awaken the justice sign-in system. As long as you keep your integrity, you can sign in from time to time and get rewards. Lu Chun thought silently in his heart. View the individual's properties panel. Host Lu Chin Fruit, Thunder Fruit, Normal 98%, Hockey, Observation Color, 82%, Armed Color, 85%, Conquerors, 78%, Physical Skills, Marine 6 Styles, 89%, Gentle Fist, 80%, Template, Senju Hashirama, Wood Style, 72%, Unlocked, Ninjutsu, Seal is Self Healing, Wood Style, Wood Clone, Big Scroll, 4 Red Young Formation, Taijutsu, Monster Power, Blood Succession Limit, Wood Style Secret Technique, The Birth of the Tree Realm, Wood Style Flower Arrival of the Tree Realm, Wood Style Wooden Dragon Technique, Wood Style Wooden Golem Jutsu, Justice, 290,000 points, 300,000 points until next check-in. Very simple system. From the first sign-in, after getting the Thunder Fruit, Lu Chen joins Marine, pursuing justice step-by-step, step, clearing the sea of demons and monsters, and earning generous justice points. If it conflicts with Marine's justice, then as long as you keep your true heart and justice, you can still get points. Report, a pirate ship was spotted ahead. Looking at the pirate pattern on the canvas, there is no reward information. It should be a newcomer who just went to sea. At this moment, an alarm came from the watchtower on the warship. Hearing this, the soldiers walking on the deck suddenly stopped and turned to look at Lu Chun, who was lying on the beach chair. Logically speaking, Marine would generally not arrest a pirate ship without a bounty on it. Just like when Luffy went to sea, before Marine put a bounty on him, Marine would be too lazy to pay attention to him as long as there was no burning, killing, and looting. However, pirates who don't have bounties on their heads are still pirates, and they will be sunk when encountered. Lu Chin raised his eyelids, glanced at everyone, and said in a rather indifferent tone, Since you have chosen to go to sea to become a pirate, even if there is no reward, you are the enemy of our Marine. If you let it go now, you will be a tragic death to the pirates in the future irresponsibility on the hands of innocent people. After he finished speaking, he closed his eyes and fell asleep directly. Marine soldiers are already used to this. However, Lu Chen's words shocked the hearts of the soldiers, and their expressions became solemn. Looking at the sleeping Lu Chun, their eyes were full of awe. Soon, the warship and the pirate ship met, and the soldiers who had been prepared jumped over. After discovering that there were no innocent hostages, the soldiers went on a killing spree and killed all the pirates on the ship. The last artillery fire passed, sinking the entire pirate ship, and then walked away. The whole process. The warship's top commander, Lu Chen Vice Admiral, was asleep the entire time. When he woke up again, half a day had passed and the warship entered the waters near the kingdom of Goa. How long until we get to Windmill Village? Lu Chen stood up and stretched. Report, Lu Chen Vice Admiral, the island can already be seen on the horizon. The deputy, Colonel Rick, stood respectfully and then pointed to the end of the sky. Really? Windmill Village suddenly came into view. 
After three years of absence, I'm finally back. Looking at the windmill village that gradually transformed into the outline of the island, the smile on Lu Chin's face gradually became brighter. But the next moment, his smile froze and he raised his hand to his forehead, his face covered with black lines. As expected, no one in the monkey family can worry. This book is also called Uncle Luffy, starting to teach his nephew the revolution. Chapter 2. Windmill Village I want to become the freest person in this sea, just like a pirate. After I go to sea, you can tell that guy. At this time, affected by Rock's pirate, a young man wearing a dark green cloak and a blood-red square tattoo on the left side of his face ran out of the dense forest in the back mountain with a heavy package on his back. He waved and shouted carelessly. The slightly childish face was smiling a little wildly at the moment, and his eyes were full of light that looked down upon the world. Behind him, Dayton, who was still in shape and had a good face, led several bandit men and chased him out with anxiety on their faces. You be asterisk 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 d. Stop saying stupid things. If Garp knows that you are going to see to be a pirate, he will definitely come to us and cause trouble. Dayton roared angrily. Dragon, come back. Please don't run away. Nanny, you're a middle-aged brat. You can't be serious, can you? If you become a pirate, that guy Garp, thinking of the burly man's iron fists, everyone felt chills. It is also because of this man's reputation that the area around the kingdom of Goa has become the safest sea area in the East Blue. No blind pirate dares to invade. However, the son of the famous Marine Vice Admiral Garp the Fist actually went so far as to want to become a pirate. If outsiders knew this, their jaws would definitely drop. But Long didn't seem to care. He left the back mountain and passed through the streets of Windmill Village at a very fast speed. Under the surprised eyes of the villagers, he galloped straight towards the pier of Windmill Village. Ha ha ha, no one can stop me from now on. This sea will definitely resound with Monkey D Dragon's name. We were finally approaching the pier. The dragon couldn't help but laugh up to the sky and shouted confidently, With the dragon claws I have practiced hard for three years, I will definitely be able to defeat invincible opponents across the sea. Just wait, that guy will be shocked when he sees me again. But he can't do anything to me. Hearing these words, the Dayton bandits and others who were chasing behind them all looked shocked. There is a marine father who only cares about chasing pirates and rarely cares about his own son. If it were any rebellious middle school boy, he would probably do such a ridiculous thing. But this is not the reason why Long wants to become a pirate. This be asterisk 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 d boy. Dayton gasped for air, staring with helplessness on his face. Looking at the young man who had already walked to the pier, he gritted his teeth and said, Anyway, I informed Garp half a month ago. If he doesn't come back, you will bear the consequences. Several bandits around him nodded in agreement. I saw a small boat floating on the blue sea not far from the pier, as if waiting for its owner to arrive. At this time, Long had already arrived at the edge of the dock. He stepped on the ground and leapt into the air, falling straight towards the boat on the sea more than ten meters away, breaking away from the shackles of the ground, ready to plunge into the embrace of the sea. At this time, the dragon was still in the air, with a wild smile on his tattooed face. He laughed. No one can stop me. But in the next moment, a faint voice suddenly came from the distant sea. Can I? The words fell. Long's eyes flashed as a bolt of lightning struck at extremely high speed. His abdomen felt as if he had been hit by a sea king's. His body arched uncontrollably and flew backwards like a cannonball. Boom! The body hit the ground. The dock dented and dust rose into the sky. Cough, cough, cough. It hurt so much, Long clutched his stomach and screamed. Looking in the direction of the dock, the man with his hands in his pockets, a tall and slender figure, the cloak of justice flying behind his back, and arcs of electricity flowing all over his body. Uncle, why are you back? Long reluctantly showed a smile that was uglier than crying. This uncle, who was only less than ten years older than him, almost dominated his childhood fears. As for Lu Chun, who was standing at the pier, his forehead was covered with black lines. How to come back? Not that stupid old man from Garp. In order to hunt down the most evil rocks pirate in history, he even ignored his own son and sent himself back as the new vice admiral of naval headquarters. Although they are brothers, Lu Chun also despises this irresponsible behavior. He glanced sideways at Long, raised the corners of his mouth and said with a smile, If I'm half a step later, uncle won't be able to show mercy. Xiao Long. His tone was as calm as ever. But Long, who knew his uncle, 
felt his heart twitch. This guy's ruthlessness towards pirates is well known in this sea. Snap. Taking out a cigarette, Lu Qian saw electric arcs appear on his fingertips. After lighting the cigarette, he slowly blew out a puff of mist. He turned around, looked at the approaching warship, and said calmly, Our monkey family is from a well-known and righteous family. If we let you become a pirate, wouldn't it be a joke to the whole world? I want to be the freest person in this sea, even if I become a pirate. Long wanted to refute, but Lu Chun turned around, looked down at him, interrupted him coldly and said, who is a serious person who becomes a pirate? E Chapter 3 Come on, boy Long. Don't let your uncle underestimate you. If he is not Marine, our Dayton family must make him look good. The bandits in Gorbo Mountain shouted with dissatisfaction. Even the plump and strong Curly Dayton, the matron of the Dayton family, couldn't help shouting. Boy Long. Let him take a good look at your hard work over the years. A pair of excited eyes fell on the two figures facing each other in the field. The fluttering snow-white cloak and the word justice written in black seemed to be an invisible deterrent, making the bandits present feel palpitating. The owner of the cloak is a young man about 20 years old with long black hair. He has a handsome face, a gentle temperament, and a pair of dazzling eyes as bright as stars. And opposite him, it was a young man wearing a dark green robe. It was Lu Chen and Long, the uncle and nephew. The people of the monkey family have only one brain, and it is difficult to explain the truth so they can only use force to speak. Uncle Lu Chun, as long as I win, will you agree to let me become a pirate? The boy with the tattooed face clenched his fists and yelled with a wild look on his face. Don't talk about being a pirate. You can be the king of the world. Opposite me, Lu Chun shrugged and said nonchalantly. Of course, the premise is that you can touch me, even if it's the corner of my clothes. Oomph, I will definitely win. I want to become the freest pirate in this sea. A big pirate that that guy will never be able to catch up with, Long waved his fist, declaring his dream for the future. That's not the guy, that's your father, Lu Chun corrected. The father who hasn't been back for 10 years? This is the Marine Vice Admiral after all, and it's really hard to relax with the sea today. Lu Chun wanted to explain a few words to the cheap guy. However, he was interrupted by his nephew across from him. But uncle, you are also a Marine Vice Admiral. All right. As a father, Lu Chun had to admit that his cheap brother did not pass the test. He didn't care about his son and left him in the care of his old sweetheart. Moreover, that old friend was also the leader of a mountain bandit. Of course, they are called bandits, but they are actually just a group of hooligans. So Lu Chun was silent for a while. And opposite him, Long's eyes suddenly lit up and he secretly thought that the opportunity had come. Okay, let me show you the trick I recently developed. The words fell. He took a step and like a wind blade, he rushed towards Lu Chun in an instant. Buzz. The five fingers of his right hand spread out, covering armament hockey, turning into black dragon claws, tearing the air. Oh, is this your strongest trick? Lu Chun raised his eyelids and smiled lightly. His hands were still in his trouser pockets. However, the surface of the body made a sizzling sound of electricity, and flashing arcs of electricity burst out. Boom. Just the next moment. In the clear sky, a thick thunder suddenly fell. The terrifying power of thunder made Dayton and others not far away suddenly feel their scalps numb. Is this guy so rude to his nephew? Dayton's expression changed drastically. But soon, they felt that they had thought too much. Facing the thunder from the sky, Long was obviously prepared. He was extremely dexterous and easily dodged the lightning attack with a slip of his feet. Haha, this can't hit me. Long laughed. Blazing thunderbolts fell from the sky and hit the ground, creating terrifying deep pits. However, Long seemed to be familiar with this. He used his dexterous positioning to dodge the lightning while quickly approaching Lu Chun. Less than three seconds. It was already within ten meters. It's interesting. Seeing this, Lu Chen's eyes flashed with approval. Unexpectedly, the lightning strike that was aimed at the target was actually ineffective against the second boy. From this... We can imagine how much sweat Long spent in order to win the opportunity to go to sea. I won't make the same mistake again. At this time, he jumped up and grabbed Lu Chin's head with his dragon claws. It is not difficult to see that the power of this claw can easily tear rocks apart. However, Lu Chun still had his hands in his trouser pockets with a smile on his lips. The blue electric arc disappeared from his body surface. Instead, there was a vitality of purple energy, releasing endless terrifying vitality. This is, Long's eyes narrowed slightly, 
but he was so close that he had no time to react. Because the distance between the two sides was close to within half a meter. But that's it. Bang, bang, bang. The ground suddenly rose up, and tree roots that looked like spiritual snakes rushed out, forming a large net in the air, directly tying up the dragon in midair. With no doubt, an almost overwhelming direct end to this battle. What happened? Is that a tree root? Brother Luchon, isn't he a person with lightning abilities? When did he have the ability to control plants? Seeing this scene, everyone in the Dayton family couldn't help but take a breath. In their cognition, Garp's younger brother, but a user with the ability of Logia Thunderfruit. And now, in addition to having the ability to control thunder and lightning, he also seems to have the magical ability to control plants. What kind of monster is this? Uncle, it doesn't count this time. I was careless and didn't dodge just now. The dragon, whose body was tied up with five flowers, also reacted at this time and started shouting angrily. It took him three years to awaken observation hockey. Thus, you can dodge Lu Chen's thunder attack. I thought it was stable this time. Never imagined. Long almost cried. He felt that the future was dark and his hope of going to sea was completely ruined. Dreams can only become dreams from now on. Crash, with a thought in his mind, Lu Chan controlled the plant to release the dragon, causing him to fall to the ground. Looking at the future revolutionary leader, looking like a child at this moment, constantly talking about his carelessness and failure, it is simply dumbfounding. Why did you go to sea? Are you really just a pirate? He held a cigarette in his mouth, thinking that as an elder uncle, he should educate his middle nephew. Going to sea? Pirates? Hearing Lu Chin's words, Long nodded, and then shook his head, with a look of confusion on his slightly immature face. This little guy doesn't even know the revolution he's pursuing. It seems that as an uncle with a strong sense of responsibility, it is necessary to give him a push. Thinking of this, Lu Chin asked again. Think carefully before answering. There is only one chance. Otherwise, I will have to throw you to Brother Garp. Hear the words. Long was shocked, then slowly raised his head, his eyes turning slightly red. Uncle, do you know the garbage mountain? After a while, the middle-aged boy spoke slowly. Hear this. Dayton and the others in the distance had dumbfounded expressions. It seems that he didn't expect why this annoying middle school boy spoke of the garbage mountain with such a sad tone and expression. But Lu Chun was not surprised. He said very calmly, I know. Hearing this answer, Long was slightly stunned, but quickly continued to ask. Chapter 4 Then do you know that what the kingdom of Goa and many countries in the world do is even more abominable than pirates? I know. Forehead. This time, Dao Long was dumbfounded. But looking at Lu Chin's serious expression, it didn't seem like he was laughing at him. So he took courage. Then you know that these countries are so unscrupulous just because of the connivance of the world government? I know. Then, uncle, do you know that the existence of celestial dragons is squeezing the people of the world? No. Long Dicky glanced at Lu Chen weakly and found that his uncle was not angry, so he continued. So, this world has long been corrupted, and celestial dragons and world government are the source of this corruption. Hear this. The Dayton bandits next to them had their eyes popping out. Dayton wanted to speak several times and reminded Long of this guy. In front of the Marine Vice Admiral, pay attention to the topic. However, Lu Chin answered calmly as always. I know. A faint smile appeared on his face, and then he slowly raised his hand and lowered it towards the dragon's head. When Long saw this, he shrunk his neck and lowered his head subconsciously. My uncle is the Marine Vice Admiral. He actually said bad things about world government and celestial dragons. This is totally seeking death. Even the Dayton pirates next to them had their expressions changed drastically. Brother Lu Chen, Long is still young, but you can? Seeing that Lu Chen's hand was about to fall on Long's head, Dayton quickly shouted in shock. But before he could finish his words, he suddenly stopped. As expected of the young man from our monkey family, he has a very sharp mind, huh? The palm of his hand fell gently, Lu Chen touched his nephew's upturned black hair, and couldn't help laughing. Everyone thought Lu Chen was going to be furious. At this moment, I was completely dumbfounded. Even the dragon looked confused. He didn't get beaten. It felt like a dream. The big hand suddenly grabbed his collar. Child, do you know why this decadent world exists? Lu Chin patted Long's shoulder and asked with a smile on his face. For what? Is it for the pain? Not to mention that Long didn't know. Even Dayton and others next to him had doubts in their eyes. Child, do you have an impulse in your heart? Seeing that his nephew was still not enlightened, 
Lu Chen tried to induce him. Impulse. Long frowned. To be honest, he does have the urge to become a pirate now. But in front of my uncle, I definitely can't say it. Therefore, he pondered for a long time and carefully organized his words without any confidence. Uncle, seeing that Marine, who represents justice, is still struggling to maintain this decadent world, I have the urge to rebel. After finishing speaking, he secretly glanced at Lu Chun and found that Lu Chun didn't mean to be angry, so he breathed a sigh of relief. To this, Lu Chun was not surprised. It was obvious that Long's revolutionary spirit was beginning to stir. In order to prevent the future leader of the revolutionary army from becoming a scum like a pirate, Lu Chun felt it was necessary to guide him well. So, he put his arm around Long's shoulders and said with a smile, Yes, that's the impulse. Then I can tell you for sure now, the reason why this decadent world still exists. At this point, the words paused slightly. Dayton and the others next to him suffocated and shut up and became quiet. They all have an illusion. What Lu Chen will tell next is definitely a secret of the world that only one who becomes a senior member of Marine knows. Even the dragon was unusually quiet, looking like he was listening intently. The meaning is, waiting for you to overturn it. Lu Chen said calmly. It seems that he is reporting an insignificant thing. But the people around him turned to stone, their jaws dropped to the ground, and they looked like they had seen a ghost. Overthrow? A marine vice-admiral. He actually taught his nephew to overthrow this corrupt world. You know, isn't a corrupt world just world government? Is it true? Did you hear it wrong? Even Long was shocked and stammered. Uncle, I don't dare. Rotten things, no matter what they are, since they have no value, they can only be torn down and rebuilt. Before his nephew could finish speaking, Lu Chun casually waved his hand and interrupted, saying, My child, this is revolution. Revolution? This word is very new, and I have never heard of it before. But for some reason, Long had a feeling. His breathing became rapid and his heart pounded. He seemed to have found his dream. At this time, the Dayton bandits woke up and screamed in surprise. Hey, hey, brother Lu Chun, what are you talking about? Compared to pirates, isn't the revolution you mentioned more terrifying? Oh my god, if Garp finds out, I don't know how this guy will feel. Didn't you promise to take good care of the dragon? Are you teaching him to commit a crime? Uncle Devil, Dayton, and others were shocked. I can't believe it. As Marine Vice Admiral, Garp's brother, Lu Chun, who was told by Garp to take good care of his nephew before returning, although he prevented Long from going out to sea to become a pirate, seemed to have unleashed something even more terrifying. Don't get too close to these guys from now on, they are all a bunch of hooligans. After listening to what the bandits said, Lu Chen glanced sideways, then didn't bother to talk to them, put his arm around Long's shoulders, and walked straight towards Windmill Village. These words were not deliberately suppressed, and the bandits screamed in anger. The two figures disappeared into the forest, and the bandits calmed down. What should I do, boss? Do you want to talk to that guy, Garp? Yeah, Lu Chen is so scary. As a Marine Vice Admiral, he actually wants to teach his nephew to overthrow the world government. Dayton's face turned gloomy, and it took him a while before he let out a heavy breath. Don't worry about their monkey family's affairs. Anyway, he has been handed over to his uncle. As for the future, that is all their monkey family's problem. Hear this. Others breathed a sigh of relief for no reason. And the uncle and nephew who are far away. The dragon asked, Where are we going now? Naval headquarters. But I don't want to be Marine. No. I want you to get to know Marine. Only when you know how powerful Marine is can you know how to defeat him. Dragon. Uncle, are you serious? Chapter 5. New World. Some unknown sea area. The angry sea was turbulent, and several huge warships were sailing through the strong winds and waves, galloping straight in the direction of the Red Line. On one of the warships, Marine's most famous Mesozoic generals at this stage, Sengoku the Buddha and Garp the Fist, stood side by side at this time. Looking at the new world sea that was gradually receding, his solemn expression immediately changed to another expression. You be asterisk 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 d. You promised not to alert the enemy, but now, the mission assigned by Sora Admiral failed. It's all because of you. A b asterisk 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 d who only knows brute force. Now strong, wearing black-rimmed glasses and with black hair. Sengoku pointed at his companion and yelled. Rock's pirate conquered the New World in the second half of the Grand Line, occupying nearly 90% of the sea area. Although he knew that the other party had landed on Honeycomb Island, 
The rocks group was so powerful that Marine did not dare to act rashly and could only wander around the periphery to gather information. As the new generation generals of Marine, Sengoku and Garp were naturally assigned important tasks. The two led several warships deep into the New World to collect detailed intelligence on the Rocks group. Unexpectedly, this guy Garp had just approached Beehive Island, and he couldn't help but take action. Of course it turned out to be a mess. Several warships were almost surrounded by Rocks Pirate. After a hard battle, they returned in despair. Hee 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 hee. Garp, who has a strong inverted triangle figure and a head full of short black hair, is not confident enough to pick his nostrils and smile awkwardly but politely. Then, he fell asleep standing like this. UB asterisk 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 D. Seeing his good friend sleeping away, Sengoku gritted his teeth in hatred, then seemed to think of something. A glint flashed in his eyes, and he snorted coldly. If Lu Chan is here, he will definitely be able to complete the mission. With his talent and strength, he will be able to catch up with us soon. Bo. The words just fell. Garp blew out the bubbles from his nostrils and burst them. He groaned and said with dissatisfaction, Aha, with his strength, he is not ready to face the cruelty of the new world. Oh, really? But I heard that before he was promoted to vice admiral, even Zephyr seemed to be no match for him. Sengoku glanced at him sideways and sneered. He was promoted from the lowest level to vice admiral in three years. Even the current martial marine found it unbelievable. To know, Lu Chen's promotion path did not rely on his elder brother at all, but he went up step by step. Wherever he passed, the first half of the Grand Line and the surrounding sea were peaceful as never before. In the eyes of outsiders, the two monkey brothers are more monsters than the other. As the big brother, Garp is gradually finding it difficult to maintain his prestige. Now that he heard Sengoku's provocation, he couldn't help but fall silent. Not jealous, but worry. The more he understands the nature of this world, the more worried Garp becomes. He didn't know whether he was right or wrong in bringing Lu Chan to join Marine. He's stronger than you think. Sengoku seemed to be aware of his good friend's mood, and his attitude softened. He immediately changed the subject and said, By the way, you asked Lu Chan to go back to East Blue. How is that boy long? After hearing this, Garp looked stunned, and then said angrily, It's been a month, and this guy doesn't know how to contact me. If Sengoku hadn't mentioned it, he would have forgotten about it. The two returned to the cabin, and Garp was right in front of Sengoku, dialing Lu Chen's phone directly. Hey brother, are you looking for me when you have time? The phone bug transformed into Lu Chun with a lazy expression. Huh, don't even look at who your brother is. If Sengoku hadn't stopped me from this task, I would have completed it long ago. Garp grinned confidently. Then, ignoring Sengoku's silent anger beside him, he changed the subject. How is the boy? Garp was told by Dayton that his son recently wanted to go to sea, and become a pirate. If there wasn't an upcoming mission, he would have gone back to East Blue by himself instead of asking Lu Chan. Although he rarely goes back to visit, he still cares about Long in his heart. To this, Lu Chan naturally understood. So he smiled and said, Brother, don't you trust me? My nephew has solved the problem. I can assure you that he has completely given up the idea of becoming a pirate now. I will handle the matter. Brother, you can rest assured. The phone bug transformed into a confident Lu Chan. Hear this. Garp breathed a sigh of relief for no reason, feeling like he was relieved of a huge stone. After chatting for a while, we agreed to return to the headquarters and go to New World together next time, then hung up the phone. East Blue, a huge warship with a seagull logo on it, was slowly sailing on the Blue Sea. Snap, it belonged to Lu Chen's office. He slowly hung up the phone. Humph, this kind of father never understands his children's thoughts. Sitting aside, Long Lung sneered. When I grow up, I will never become this kind of father. Hear the words. Lu Chen's mouth twitched, and his forehead was covered with black lines. Looking at Long's eyes, she looked very complicated. She wanted to tell this boy that there is actually no difference between you and Brother Garp. They are all modern scumbags who gave up only one seat of life, and then gave up completely. Where did you say just now? Lu Chen took a deep breath and quickly changed the topic, fearing that he would burst into mocking laughter. Revolution. Class? Long immediately calmed down his emotions, with a serious expression on his face, and leaned forward slightly, like an obedient student. Yes, revolution is when one class overthrows another class. My child, this is not a dinner party or making friends. This is a duel of violence and violence. Do you understand? I understand, uncle. Well, just understand. 
When you grow up to be strong enough, I will tell you about the long-term debate. Lu Chen waved his hand and threw out a novel word. The dragon's eyes glowed when he heard it, and he vowed silently in his heart that he must become stronger as soon as possible. After stabbing the teenager out, ding, congratulations host, you got 10,000 points. Ding, congratulations host, you have completed the sign-in points value. Do you want to use sign-in? A notification sound that only Lu Chun could hear suddenly sounded in his mind. Finally, he had accumulated enough 300,000 points, and it was not in vain for him to clean up pirates from the first half of the Grand Line to East Blue. You sign in. Lu Chun smiled brightly. I wonder what the reward will be for this justice sign-in. Is it to improve existing abilities or to reward new abilities? No matter which one it is, it is worth looking forward to. <laughs> Chapter 6. Ding. Congratulations, host. You signed in to get the physical skill. Eight inner gates. Ding. Does the host extract it? The system beeps. Lu Chin's lazy eyes suddenly widened, and his gaze burst out with tiny arcs of electricity, illuminating the office palely. Eight inner gates? His face was filled with surprise. Unexpectedly, I was so lucky to sign in this time and got eight inner gates. This is a type of taijutsu in the Hokage world and it can be called one of the most powerful taijutsu in the Hokage world. When the eight gate is fully opened, also known as the eight inner gates formation, it can instantly possess ten times the power of the five shadows. However, the caster will also burn his vitality and die. Overall, this is a physical technique that squeezes the body's potential. The stronger your physical fitness, the higher the limit you can endure. The stimulation of potential is actually similar to Wang Luffy's second gear. It requires a rather tough physique to withstand the side effects of increased strength. Unfortunately, in terms of physical fitness, in this ocean, the monkey family is second, but no one dares to be first, right? After all, every time you enter a near-death state in a battle, you will become stronger as long as you rest for a while. In the original work, his future great-nephew Luffy made such rapid progress. At that time, Luchin felt that this was just like the Scion bloodline. However, this extreme suppression of the body's potential will eventually cause damage, just like Luffy's open gear. No matter how strong your body is, it can only reduce the damage after surgery, but it cannot make you immune. But, these problems are not problems for Lu Chan. You know, in addition to possessing the excellent genes of the monkey family, he also possesses the physique of Senju Hashirama and his boundless vitality. Extracted. Thinking of this, Lu Chan couldn't wait to say silently. Next moment. Ding. Congratulations, host. The extraction was successful. As the system beep sounded, a vast amount of information suddenly poured into the depths of Lu Chen's mind. At the same time, the blood and flesh cells in the body also have a wonderful memory. Although it is the first time to fuse, Lu Chen has completely mastered the true meaning of eight inner gates. He can turn it on anytime he wants. According to Lu Chen's understanding, the physical skills rewarded by the sign in system can be taught to others. That is to say, Lu Chun now holds unprecedented power in this world, and it can be taught to others. With the blessing of eight inner gates, Brother Garp shouldn't be my opponent now, right? Lu Chun was in a good mood, with a bad smile on his face. My stupid brother, if you want to learn, then become my teacher. He found it very interesting just to imagine it. After all, when he was still young and his system was not yet awakened, he was forced to become a disciple and was taught the training methods of Marine Six Styles and Hockey. Now, Things may be changing. I wonder how many doors I can open now? Lu Chun was a little curious. Ever since, with a thought, a strange energy suddenly emerged from a certain part of the flesh and blood in the body. Open the door. With the brain domain restrictions lifted, Lu Chun has a clear understanding of his own control. If we say, it was 70 points before, that's 100% now. At this time, he used his body's power to a meticulous level and would not waste a single moment. Boom. Then the door to sleep was opened. The restrictions of fatigue were lifted. Just like taking a stimulant, endless energy emerged from all over the body. Boom. There was another shock. A strong wind formed in the office, shaking the tables and chairs. At this time, Lu Chun felt that the blood in his body was flowing like a rolling river, and a layer of emerald green energy filled the surface of his body. Next, Lu Chun opened it continuously, all the way to Jingmen the fierce aura immediately became slightly softer. This is a half-open buffer state. Damage to the body is minimized as much as possible. My current physical strength should be able to withstand the seventh gate. Feeling the changes in his body, Lu Chun raised his eyebrows, 
and then his heart skipped a beat. Boom! There was an earth-shattering bang. The green energy on Lu Chin's body disappeared. Instead, blue energy filled the air, like blue flames burning, releasing incredible energy. The breath was so terrifying that the furniture in the office was torn apart by the hurricane and turned into dust. The entire warship was affected and suddenly started to shake. What's going on? Did you meet Sea Kings? Many soldiers fell down and screamed. No, that's the smell coming from Uncle Lu Chen's office. After being taught by his uncle, Long, who was focused on exploring Marine's love on the warship, suddenly turned around and looked around. A look of horror appeared on the tattooed cheek. This is what a terrifying atmosphere. The sky seemed to have collapsed, making everyone feel as oppressive as a mountain. What? Is it Luchin Vice Admiral? The deputy, Colonel Rick, had just come out of the control room. His eyes widened, and he hurriedly walked towards the office. However, that aura that felt like the sky was falling disappeared as quickly as it came. At this moment, it suddenly disappeared. If it weren't for the endless ripples on the blue sea surface, everyone would have thought it had never happened. Squeak. The office door opened, and under the horrified gazes of Long and his deputies, Lu Qian stepped out with a cigarette in his mouth and his hands in his pockets. At this time, his attribute panel has changed. Host Lu Qin Fruit, Thunder Fruit, Normal 98%, Hockey, Observation Color, 82%, Armed Color, 85%, Conquerors, 78%, Physical Skills, Marine Six Styles, 89%, Gentle Fist, 80%, Eight Inner Gates, 30%, Template. Senju Hashirama. Wood style 72%. Unlocked. Ninjutsu. Seal is self-healing. Wood style wood clone. Big scroll. Four red young formation. Taijutsu. Monster power. Blood succession limit. Wood style secret technique. The birth of the tree realm. Wood style flower arrival of the tree realm. Wood style wooden dragon technique. Wood style wooden golem jutsu. Justice. 30,000 points. 100,000 before the next check-in. After taking one look at the new eight inner gates, Lu Chen felt calm. The percentage represents the proficiency of this ability. In other words, although Lu Chen can open the seventh gate, it does not mean that he is proficient in the ability to open the seventh gate. Of course, if you reach 100% proficiency, it means that there is no harm when opening the eight gate. The movement caused by the opening of the alarm door just now was no less than the aura explosion of the four emperors in the future. No wonder these guys were frightened. Aha! I'm sorry. I just practiced and I didn't control it well. Facing everyone's puzzled looks, Lu Chun scratched his hair and said apologetically. Looking over his shoulder, everyone saw that the office was in a mess, and the tables and chairs seemed to have been torn apart by an invisible force, turning them into dust. Is this cultivation movement too scary? This idea emerged in everyone's hearts. Chapter 7 Uncle, you are so strong. The dragon's eyes were shining. But the next moment, he seemed to think of something. His face turned bitter, and he clenched his fists. With my uncle here, Marine, is there any chance that I can win? The pressure of the middle schoolboy who was still young and vigorous just now suddenly became low. The uncle who dominated his childhood fears was so powerful that it made people breathless. Luchin Vice Admiral, we have entered the first half of the Grand Line. We will reach the water capital in a few days. At this time, Colonel Rick came to Luchin and asked respectfully, should we replenish supplies at Sabaeity Archipelago, or should we go directly back to the headquarters? The eyes looking at Lu Chun at this moment were full of deep awe. When he was still a colonel, Lu Chun was a low-level marine soldier. Now three years later, he is a colonel, but the other party has been promoted to marine vice admiral. Being able to follow this kind of monster is undoubtedly a great honor for Colonel Rick. Just like many generals in the middle and lower ranks of marine, they are not qualified to follow the monsters in their headquarters. Sabaeity Archipelago. After hearing the deputy's words, Lu Chun thought for a moment, glanced at the boy with extremely low air pressure, and then said with a smile, this is the first time for a child to travel far away. He should move around more and experience more. After finishing speaking, he waved his hand for the deputy to leave. With a cigarette in his mouth and his trouser pocket inserted, he walked straight towards Long, who didn't know what he was thinking. When the surrounding soldiers saw this, they all wisely stepped away, and did not disturb the conversation between the uncle and nephew. Uncle, Marine is so powerful, can I still defeat him? Hearing the footsteps behind him, the young man awakened and asked without looking back. His face was very bitter. Facing the behemoth Marine in this ocean, to be honest, his dream has been shaken countless times in less than ten days. Especially, 
I just felt Lu Chin's terrifying aura. It almost made the future leader of the Revolutionary Army succumb to reality. Victory? Lu Chun curled his lips, took his hands out of his trouser pockets, raised them to support the side of the boat, and said with a smile, No one can defeat Marine in fifty years. Hear the words. Long's face became even more bitter, and he whispered, Then I'm wasting my time. Even if I know Marine well, I can't defeat this behemoth. At such a young age, I was under undue pressure. Marine is actually very weak. Lu Chun slowly blew out a smoke ring and suddenly said something earth-shattering. Weak? Long blinked, thinking he heard wrongly. You know, Marine forces are spread all over the world, and there are fleets patrolling the sea. Even the Marines in the Four Seas are more powerful than many countries. Is this, where is it weak? To say that it is so powerful that it makes people despair is actually an understatement. You see, the most evil rocks pirate in history does not dare to collide with Marine head-on and can only compete for supremacy in the chaotic land of New World. Uncle, did you make a mistake? Long Yang raised his tattooed face and asked with doubtful eyes. Hee hee. Lu Chun raised his left hand, rubbed the boy's upturned black hair, and then explained, Marine is very weak, but also very strong. Marine's troops are spread all over the sea, and they need to maintain chaotic order. However, this sea is very big, and there are many places that Marine cannot reach, so it is very weak. But Marine is very strong. In this sea, it is more powerful than any force. It is a veritable overlord. No one can shake its justice. Are you going to deal with the weak Marine? Or are you going to have a decisive battle with the strong Marine? My child, it depends on your will. As Lu Chin's words fell, boom. Lightning seemed to flash across Long's mind, and he froze in place. After a while, he shouted excitedly, Uncle, I understand. This is what you said before. A single spark can start a prairie fire, I understand. As long as you know. Looking at his extremely excited nephew, Lu Chen looked pleased, but he still warned. But you still have to be careful. Don't fall into my hands in the future, otherwise Brother Garp won't be able to save you. Oomph, I don't want that guy to save me. Long sneered and shook his head secretly deciding to record all the revolutionary theories he had studied in the past few days. Haha, <laughs> that's it for today's class. You should think about it carefully, sort out what you have learned, and plan how to strengthen yourself in the future. Lu Chun said with a faint smile. Seeing the middle school boy regain his full vitality, I felt deeply comforted. Ding. Congratulations, host. You got 1,000 points. At this time, the system prompt sounds. It's less, only 1,000 points? Glancing sideways at his nephew who was walking away, Lu Chun muttered inwardly. During this period, he successively obtained almost 20,000 points from his nephew. He is worthy of being the future leader of the Revolutionary Army. This effect is simply awesome. But now it seems that the guiding effect of the future Revolutionary Army leader has begun to gradually weaken. Time passes quickly. Six days later. Report, Your Excellency Lu Chun. We have entered the waters of Sabaeity Archipelago and will arrive at the port of the Sabaeity Archipelago branch in 10 minutes. Colonel Rick opened the door and reported. Looking at Lu Chen Vice Admiral who was lecturing with his nephew again, the deputy was curious in his heart, wondering what Lu Chen Vice Admiral was teaching about the dragon. Aha, before I knew it, I was already here. Lu Chen suddenly understood, turned to the road and smiled. Sabaeity Archipelago is very close to Marine Ford. We have a long rest and are about to go to Naval Headquarters. Kindness. Long nodded vigorously, clenching his fists with a look of anticipation on his face. But just then, boom, a cannon shot came from the distant sea. A civilian ship was found ahead, an A merchant ship? Soldiers and watchtowers deliver messages. Hear the words. The deputy's expression changed slightly. Which ship fired the cannon just now? Lu Chin asked in a calm tone. Cold sweat broke out on the deputy's forehead, and he said in a deep voice, It's that merchant ship firing at civilian ships. After receiving the answer, Lu Chen nodded, then stood up and walked straight out of the office. Why do merchant ships fire at civilian ships? Behind him, Long looked confused and chased after him. The distant sea. A merchant ship as large as a marine was setting up artillery and pursuing a small civilian ship. At this moment, seeing the warship approaching, he had no intention of stopping. Chapter 8 the merchant ship is huge, like a castle floating in the sea, and small civilian ships seem extremely small in front of it. This shot is a warning. If you dare to escape again, we will not be polite. 
On the side of the merchant ship, a man from the Scar Company shouted fiercely and threateningly at the civilian ship. On the deck, the crew members each held a sword and looked at the civilian ship with evil eyes, their eyes shining with greed. Even a warship is approaching not far away. The people on this merchant ship were indifferent and even ignored it. Damn it, this is the Sabaeity Archipelago sea area. You traffickers, are you so lawless? An old man on the civilian ship was shaking with anger. There were many men and women on the deck who were simply dressed. Although they were very slovenly, they still had a quiet and bookish atmosphere about them. Obviously, this is a group of scholars. For some reason, I encountered this merchant ship, or rather, the human traffickers. Ha ha ha, this is the territory of the celestial dragons. The adults don't seem to have scholar slaves, so stop struggling, the scarred man said with a smile. The tone was extremely arrogant. The crew burst into laughter. Assholes, aren't you afraid of marine? Looking at the slowly approaching warship, the old man's eyes flashed with hope. Even the men, women and children on the deck behind him turned their heads and looked over, with bursts of hope on their faces. However, the merchant ship in hot pursuit burst into laughter. We are businessmen working for celestial dragons. Who dares to stop us? Haha, ha, it's so funny that you scholars are so naive. It's so innocent. I think adults will love it. Yeah, even though my physical fitness is very poor, it's still very entertaining to watch. These traffickers pretending to be businessmen laughed unscrupulously. Hear these words. The faces of the scholars who looked like refugees on the civilian ship all turned red. They wanted to refute, but the next moment, they felt desperate. I saw that the slowly approaching warship was not far away from the merchant ship and did not approach it. It seemed that it had no intention of stopping it. At this time, a young man with a tattoo on his cheek lay on the side of the warship and shouted to the merchant ship, Do you have any cargo on board? The sound was so loud that it echoed across the sea. Even scholars on distant civilian ships could hear it clearly. The tone is very casual. Like, two old friends meeting and greeting each other. Ha ha ha. We just left the port and the boat is still empty. When the scarred man saw this, he secretly breathed a sigh of relief. No general from the warship came out to ask questions. They were sending a young man. It was obvious that he did not want to interfere with the affairs here. Although the merchant ship works for the celestial dragons, if Marine wants to stop it, they actually don't dare to be tough. Fortunately, the general of this warship is quite sensible. Look, this is the Marine general. Remember to pay him a visit in the future. The scarred man turned to the men behind him and ordered, Clear. The men nodded in response and immediately looked up towards the warship. If you are just an ordinary general, you will all have the same style of warships. However, if you are a senior general, your warship will be built with its own unique style to distinguish it from ordinary warships. Just like Garp's dog-headed warship. Um, I can't tell who it is, it should be an ordinary general. The subordinate looked at him for a few times and said uncertainly. Then let's make a quick decision and catch up and pay him a visit. The scarred man glared at the merchant ship in front of him, gave an order in a cold voice and shouted, Sink their ship, you don't need so much cargo anyway. Yes. Upon hearing the captain's order, the crew members shouted in unison. For a moment, the long-range artillery was pushed to the bow of the ship and aimed at the fleeing civilian ships ahead. See this scene. The scholars' faces turned pale, and everyone was in despair. They had watched the exchange between marines' warships and merchant ships just now, but the result was disappointing. Damn world government lackey. A little girl with long snow-white hair, wheat-colored skin, and a rather delicate face was protected in the middle by the scholars. Her big eyes were staring at the warship in the distance, her mouth was pursed, and her expression was full of despair. But just then, the warship, which had only been quiet for a few seconds, suddenly heard a childish shout. Fire. The words fell. The marines' powerful cannonballs were fired out with a roar, densely packed, and directly shrouded the merchant ship. Nanny? Everyone on the merchant ship was stunned by this sudden change. Even the scholars who were escaping on the civilian ship in the distance had their expressions changed drastically, and they were completely unable to react. Next moment, the shells fell, exploded with a bang, and the fire was bright, engulfing the entire merchant ship. The trafficker screamed and wanted to jump into the sea to escape. But the soldiers on the warship held long guns, aimed at the traffickers on the sea, and directly pulled the triggers to shoot. Less than a minute. The battle is over. The warship, however, did not stop. It passed by the civilian ship and slowly headed towards the Sabaeity Archipelago. In less than five minutes, it disappeared from everyone's sight. 
At this time, the people on the civilian ship began to wake up. Just, just now, what happened? Some people feel like they are in a dream and have not yet understood. That marine warship attacked the human traffickers on this merchant ship? Another person said uncertainly. Why? Someone said. The words fell. The whole ship fell silent. Because everyone wants to know why. Uh-huh. Isn't this what it should be? Why is everyone so weird? The little girl with long snow-white hair frowned, and her little face showed confusion. And this time, he sank the merchant ship and then sailed away on top of the warship. The two uncles and nephews stood at the bow of the boat, facing the wind and waves, looking at the sea in the distance. The people on that civilian ship just now were all ordinary people and scholars. Lu Chun was the first to speak, never missing any opportunity to teach. If they want to sail far to sea, they need to take great risks and even pay the price of their lives. Xiao Long, do you know why? Long didn't answer. He pursed his lips and clenched his fists, feeling great pain in his heart. The cost of free navigation is unimaginable for ordinary people. And the source of all this is pirates and dark underground forces. Listen to my uncle. The water in this world is very deep, but I hope you can grasp it. If you become like a pirate, then I will definitely destroy you at any cost. Patting Long's small shoulder, Lu Chun said with a slightly solemn tone, This is my advice to you. Feeling the strong hand on his shoulder, the young man was shocked, then raised his head and asked in confusion, Uncle, why did you teach me those revolutions? Silly boy, of course it's for points. By the way, strengthen the ideological seal of your original mob. With this thought in his heart, Lu Chun said solemnly, Because I see an uncertain future in you. Chapter 9. Novel Image, Sabaidi Archipelago, also known as the Soap Bubble Islands. The Sabaidi Archipelago is formed by the largest mangrove tree in the world, the Yarchman Mangrove. Its roots are always exposed above the water. The biggest feature of this island is the special natural resin secreted by the roots of the Yar Sevenon sweet potato tree, which expands and forms bubbles when exposed to air. If you ignore the dark underground forces hidden under the sun, this is an island full of childlike fun and fantasy. And just when Lu Chin's warship was about to approach the island port, the scene of the shelling and sinking of the merchant ship in the sea just now was still captured by some people. From the lookout mirror, they could clearly see the figure wearing a large cloak, the cloak of justice flying in the strong wind, and the waterfall of black hair dancing in the wind. Since this is the only way to pass through the new world, many pirates, underground forces, and even bounty hunters often gather here. And these people usually don't dare to cause trouble too much. But hidden under the sun, dirt always hides in the corners. Generally speaking, the marine stationed on the island will not take action easily as long as it does not go too far. After all, this is the territory of the celestial dragons. Over time, the marine garrison and the shady forces formed a tacit understanding. They refrained from provoking each other and tried their best to restrain their determination to cause trouble. But, this situation has changed in the past two years. F asterisk asterisk K. It's Marine Vice Admiral Lu Chun. Everyone, run. What the hell? Marine Vice Admiral just wants our blood sword pirates to run away? Haha, <laughs> Lousy is a big pirate with a bounty of 90 million. He is just a Vice Admiral. What should he be afraid of? You arrogant trash. Stop joking. If you don't leave now, you won't have a chance later. Maid, who caused this disaster? Why did you think of coming here? It was him at the beginning. He would come to Sabaity Archipelago every once in a while and then he would always clear out a group of wanted criminals. This guy hasn't been here for half a year. Don't say so much. Run quickly and don't look back. Nanny? Does a Marine Vice Admiral scare you so much? This guy is the younger brother of the legendary Vice Admiral Garp the Fist, and he is also a user with the ability of Logia Devil Fruit, Thunder Fruit. So what? Leave this arrogant garbage alone. Throughout the pier, pirates, gangs and other forces who were familiar with Lu Chin Vice Admiral were all shocked. The news spread, alarming pirates, gangs and other forces all over the region. For a while, the Sabaity Archipelago, which originally seemed peaceful on the surface, suddenly became agitated. Some pirates from all over the world were dragged to the sky. Many were frightened and fled one after another. And just then, boom, the sky above Sabaity Archipelago was clear but a thick bolt of lightning suddenly descended and fell directly on the ship of the Blood Knife Pirates. The terrifying power directly penetrated the ship's hull. Endless lightning flashes, surrounding dozens of crew members. Even Captain Blood Knife, 
who had a bounty of hundreds of millions, couldn't resist. He fell down covered in charred black, and the air was filled with the smell of burning. Damn it. He showed up. He showed up. He must have heard us. There were many pirate ships hidden under canvas on the pier, and many people were so frightened that their expressions changed drastically. The guy who was so arrogant just now reacted immediately, turned around and threw himself into the infinite sea. But the next moment, boom, 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 boom. Streams of thunder that were like huge waterfalls fell from the sky, swallowing up the most evil and wanted criminals everywhere in the Sabaeity archipelago. The sight was spectacular, like a divine punishment. When the thunder falls, no matter where they are hiding, it will directly submerge these people and destroy them almost instantly. The residents of the Sabaeity Islands were surprised at first, but soon felt relieved. This phenomenon has been discovered occasionally in the past two years, so the residents are already used to it. Only some tourists will feel shocked and frightened. Especially when I found out that all of this was done by a certain Marine Vice Admiral, I was even more shocked. Marine Station Port Area number 1 Two teams of people go forward. Area 3 A team of people go forward, followed by Lu Chin's instructions. On the deck, soldiers who were already armed with firearms and ready at all times, led by the general, left the warship and headed straight towards the depths of the Sabaeity archipelago. With the cooperation of the marines stationed at the base, he went to various island areas to capture the prisoners who had already fallen. After processing everyone, let's rest for half a day and come back to gather in the evening. Lu Chun calmed down his emotions, and the electric light on his body gradually extinguished, and then he took his nephew off the boat and headed straight towards the amusement park. This island is famous for its amusement park facilities. Today, you are allowed to visit for half a day, and then we are heading to naval headquarters. Lu Chun took out a cigarette and lit it with an electric light. The young man, who had been immersed in the excitement of being highly affirmed by his uncle just now and was completely blank, heard Lu Chen's words and couldn't help but have a look of disdain on his face. I want to be a subverter of the world. How could I care about such a childish and idiotic amusement park? Only children will like it. The dragon waved his hands a few times, and his five fingers turned into dragon claws, tearing the air with a swish. When he said this, he was full of energy. Lu Chen's mouth twitched and he shook his head. Ten minutes later, in the amusement park, the future leader of the Revolutionary Army riding a bubble car was so excited that he forgot all about himself, and his blood-red tattooed cheeks were filled with excitement. Uncle, look at me, haha, ha, it's amazing, I'm actually riding a bubble bike. Lu Chun was sitting on a chair in the amusement park, with his hands folded and a few black lines on his forehead. He glanced slightly sideways. Then, he turned slightly sideways without leaving any trace, ignoring his nephew's call pretending that he didn't know this guy. The look of her playing crazy is similar to that of Grandma Lu entering the Grandview Garden in her previous life. Hello, big brother. My name is Nicole Albia. Suddenly, a clear voice came. Luchin turned around and looked. I saw it next to a long chair. A little girl about 10 years old, with long snow-white hair, healthy wheat-colored skin, a delicate and cute face, and big eyes as clear as springs, sat down next to Luchin without timidity. At a young age, he possesses the wisdom and composure of an adult. Chapter 10 Novel Image Nicole Orbia? She is still young, with long snow-white hair and wheat-colored skin. At a young age, she has a wise and bookish intellectual temperament. Luchin raised his eyebrows, sat up straight and responded politely, Hello, little sister. My name is Luchon. Well, my full name is Monkey D. Luchon. Added another sentence. Deep down, I felt confused. In his memory, he seemed to have no interaction with this little girl. But for some reason, I felt that the other person's name seemed familiar. After thinking for a while, Lu Chun finally gave up. After all, he had been reborn for more than 20 years, and his memories of his previous life were limited to major events, so naturally he had no memory. It can only be attributed to the fact that the little girl looks very familiar because she is so cute. Are you the Marine Vice Admiral? At this time, the little girl looked at Lu Chun curiously with her big eyes and her face was very curious. Why do you use question marks? Lu Chen glanced sideways and asked in a rather helpless tone. However, as the youngest vice admiral in marine history, he is used to this kind of questioning. It's obviously hard to believe for people who don't know him well, or for strangers. Thinking of this, Lu Chen didn't bother to think about it. Instead, he looked at her delicate face and asked, Where are your parents? Didn't they sneak out on their own? I have no parents. The teachers on the island raised me. 
The girl said it lightly, as if what she was talking about was not her own business. Luchin felt a little surprised and said, What about you now? Go to sea with the teacher and travel around the world. Albia's small face was serious, and her big eyes shone with wisdom and knowledge. But when Lu Chin heard it, he thought that the girl had no home and could only wander around. It has to be said, as the righteous Marine Vice Admiral, have a righteous and kind heart. If the girl really has no one to take care of her, and since she is a little younger than her nephew, maybe she can be sent to Marine Academy. At least she won't be as dangerous as wandering around. Okay, I have to go back, otherwise those old men will be anxious again. Just as Lu Chun was thinking this, the little girl stood up and said goodbye to him with a sweet smile. Then, before Lu Chin Vice Admiral could react, he turned around and flew away like a butterfly. Until the other party went away, the small back was like flowers and butterflies flying, and soon disappeared from sight. The arrival was sudden, and the farewell was also sudden. After a while, Lu Chin frowned, showing a hard thinking look. What is her name? His memory is not very sensitive to people's names, and he also inherited one of the good genes of the monkey family. Forget it, since she has a family, her life should be good. He was sure that he couldn't remember it. So Luchin didn't bother to persist anymore. But deep down in my heart, I always feel that a sense of familiarity emerges from the vague memory. In the evening, the sunset is shining. Marine Ford, the huge naval headquarters building, the building wall with justice written on it, looks solemn and sacred under the sunset. Looking from a distance from the port, you can feel the majesty coming towards you. On the warship, the leader of the future revolutionary army, who had woken up from being addicted to the amusement park, looked at the marine headquarters in the distance. His vision and soul were shocked. Okay, sure, my future headquarters will be bigger than marines. The childish comparison could not make the little guy admit defeat. Oh, why so big? Seeing the soldiers busily disembarking, Luchin frowned and warned. You can compete with marine for justice, you can compete with marine for law enforcement, and you can compete with marine for maintaining order but don't compete with Marine in the material sense. Anything. The tone was very stern. The dragon shrank his neck and asked timidly, Why can't we compare materials? Snapped, before he could finish speaking, Uncle Lu Chan raised his hand and slapped him, causing pain on his head. Before you subvert the world government, don't compete with the behemoths who rule the world for material and financial resources. That will only lead to boredom. Lu Chan warned with a sideways glance. I see. Long covered his head with both hands and grimaced in pain. He just said it casually, but unexpectedly he was beaten up. Do you want to meet your old father? Lu Chin asked again. Huh, I'm not going. Long turned his head and said angrily. It can be seen that the little guy is still very resistant to the father he has not seen for seven or eight years. Lu Chin thought about it and decided not to meet him for now and let him find his son later. Then you follow the colonel first. He will take you to the Marine Academy. It is the cradle of the future of strong marines. You should take a good look. After finishing speaking, he turned to Colonel Rick and said, Please take a trip. Yes, His Excellency Vice Admiral. The deputy saluted, then turned and led long away from the dock. After a while, it became completely dark. Only then did Lu Chin jump off the warship, put his hands in his trouser pockets, hold a cigarette in his mouth, and headed straight towards the naval headquarters building. On the way, if you encounter some marine soldiers, you will be surprised and curious. In fact, it has only been three years since he joined Marine. He had not stayed in naval headquarters for even two months. Even though he was extremely famous internally, there were still very few Marines who had seen him in person. After all, he traveled all over the world in the first half of the Grand Line to earn justice points. Brother Lu Chun, why did you suddenly come back? Was it because of the recent incident in New World that you were urgently recalled by Air Admiral? Suddenly, on the other side of the pier, a clear and sensual voice came from a newly docked warship. Lu Chun was stunned for a moment, raised his eyes, and couldn't help but smile when he saw the other party. One of the vice admirals of the main unit, Crane. She stood at the bow of the ship, a little over two meters tall, extremely tall and slender. She was wearing a marine uniform. Her long, dark blue hair was tied up casually, and her face was full of protein. Facing the sea breeze, her cape was flying around her shoulders making her look heroic. Cool. Sister he. Lu Chin turned around, greeted politely with a smile, and then asked curiously, I just finished my vacation. What did you mean by the emergency recall just now? The powerful men under Rock's pirate want to get in touch with Roger. As soon as this statement came out, Lu Chin's eyes flickered, and he was very surprised. 
The soldiers around him took a deep breath, thinking they had heard wrongly. Oh, I shouldn't say such confidential information casually a him. Everyone should pretend they can't hear it. Crane Vice Admiral smiled and glanced at the soldiers on the ship. Everyone was sweating on their foreheads and nodded in agreement. After receiving a satisfactory answer, she slowly walked off the warship. She was half a head taller than Luchan. She was too slender and tall. When she came closer, she directly invited Lu Chun to leave together. Come on, let's go back together. We have a meeting later. Chapter 11 Novel Image Hey, hey, who is that guy walking with Crane Vice Admiral? You actually don't know him? That's Vice Admiral Garp's younger brother, Lu Chun Vice Admiral. Lu Chun? Yes, the new Vice Admiral of the headquarters was appointed just over two months ago. It is said that his strength is no less than that of Vice Admiral Garp. Really or not, it's too scary, isn't it? Is it scary? No, what's even more scary is that he joined Marine at the age of 18 and has been promoted to Vice Admiral in the headquarters within three years. From the initial curiosity, everyone was shocked when they learned about Lu Chin's legendary experience. Even the well-informed generals and soldiers of the headquarters were all surprised. Naval headquarters has no shortage of strong men. There are monsters too. However, there is only one person as legendary as Lu Chin Vice Admiral. Not to mention, according to the news from the Holy Land, even the world government and the marshal are paying special attention to Lu Chin Vice Admiral. Crane Vice Admiral was like a big sister, taking Lu Chun all the way to the headquarters building. Marine during this period, it is not as large as the original work, and the senior general positions are completely incomparable with the original timeline. After all, before rocks, the scale of pirates was actually not that large. Not to mention, the age of discovery that started before the future pirate king's death brought the world, which was already in chaos, to the brink of collapse. However, because of rocks, Marshal Marine applied several times to expand his generals, and world government is said to have begun to waver. Now there is only one chance for those people in the Holy Land to agree. Haha, ha, from the past life to the present, no ruler will not be wary of the dangers of relying on soldiers to respect themselves. Lu Chen thought mockingly to himself. Even in the future era of great navigation, pirates will grow exponentially, but Marine's power will only expand several times. In the original work, we can always see that Marine's power is constantly chasing pirates, running around in the sea, constantly putting out fires everywhere, but never being able to extinguish or reduce the number of pirates. The balance between the two forces, being at the center of power in the Holy Land, is completely controlled. Lu Chun has always been disdainful of this childish trick of restraining each other. If he wants to change the status quo, he is not qualified now. However, the future is not certain. During your vacation, that be asterisk 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 Dgarp messed up the mission. Walking in the corridor inside the marine building, Sister He smiled slightly and said, I think the core of this meeting should be to prevent rocks from contacting Roger. After all, if an overlord-level pirate group and a legendary pirate group unite, it will be a disaster for this sea. It must be said that Vice Admiral Crane, who was still young at this time, has already shown the demeanor of an advisor. It is easy to deduce future developments based on only brief information and recent changes in the sea. They can't unite. Lu Chin sneered and said with certainty. Why? Crane Vice Admiral turned his head to look, his beautiful eyes filled with surprise. There is no reason. Although I have never met Roger, I think a guy who can leave under my brother many times will not give in so easily. Lu Chin shrugged his shoulders, spread his hands and said, Roger is at his peak, but Rox is already showing his age. Even if they form an alliance, the link is still very fragile. Among pirates, betrayal is the norm. These scum have no loyalty and faith to speak of. A group of scum gathered for so-called freedom. No matter how powerful they are, they are actually just a mob. Just wreak havoc on ordinary people and some low-strength marines. If faced with marines' high-end power, wouldn't even Roger, the so-called pirate king, escape under the pursuit of Brother Garp? To put it bluntly, they are a bunch of scum who bully the weak and fear the strong. Of course there are exceptions. For example, the Golden Lion before Roger is executed in the future. But except for the pirates who are also scum, no one in this world will like this kind of impulsive and passionate self-movement. Lu Chen's words were unbridled and even a little contemptuous. Beside him, Crane Vice Admiral's cheeks were filled with surprise, and his beautiful eyes looked at him, full of surprise and shock. It's hard to believe that this little brother of Garp, who is also a member of the monkey family, 
not only has a clear mind, but his attitude towards pirates is still as disdainful as ever. Compared with the reckless and impulsive old man, he doesn't feel like a brother. Based on what you just said, I think the tone of the meeting can be set. You are indeed outstanding, Crane Vice Admiral praised. No wonder everyone says that you are the real genius of the monkey family. Hear the words. Lu Chun smiled faintly, but didn't have time to respond. Next to the corridor, the door of one of the offices suddenly opened. You be asterisk 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 D. You didn't tell me in advance when you came back from East Blue. Do you still have me as your big brother in your heart? Garp, a man with black hair and a strong inverted triangle figure, walked out and asked angrily. Haha, Lu Chun is back. Let's go to the meeting together. Sengoku, who had an afro, followed, looked at Lu Chun, winked and smiled. I hope the next mission will be between the two of us. Not some guy who only messes up. A asterisk asterisk hole. Who messed up? Garp glared angrily, then turned to look at Lu Chun and snorted. Where is your nephew? I sent it to Marine Academy. After Lu Chun greeted Sengoku, he smiled and said, Don't worry. Under my influence, my nephew no longer wants to be a pirate. After receiving a positive answer, Garp's anxious heart finally relaxed. Well, after the meeting, Lousy will go see him again. Garp regained his carefree character, raised his hand and put his arm around Lu Chen's shoulders, and said enthusiastically, If that guy Kong assigns a task to you, remember to recommend me to follow him. You are still young, and the water in New World is very deep, and my elder brother is also afraid of you. I can't grasp it. Obviously, because he messed up the mission before, his superiors may not dare to send him out again in a short period of time. Everyone knew it very well, so they all found it funny. For a while, the four of them were talking and laughing and headed straight towards the conference room. Chapter 12 The Dead D, Luchin followed Garp and others to the conference room. From the beginning they were joking and joking, but in the end everyone became quiet. There was a heavy pressure in the corridors, or rather in the entire naval headquarters building. The atmosphere was very solemn. Especially the generals who were rushing towards the conference room were all frowning. Only when saying hello, he would barely show a smile, and then it would disappear quickly, and he would fall into deep thought again. Even Sengoku and Crane Vice Admiral are like this. Perhaps among all the generals, only the two brothers from the monkey family have a relatively relaxed mentality. Meeting room. Lu Chun. Sit next to Xiao He. Seeing Lu Chun and others push the door in, Kong Admiral, who had not yet been promoted to marshal at this time, raised his arm full of dragon-like muscles, pointed to the side of Vice Admiral Crane and said, As soon as this statement came out, the originally quiet conference room suddenly fell into dead silence. The generals of the naval headquarters glanced at each other intentionally or unintentionally, with complex expressions on their faces. Yes, Mr. Sora. Lu Chen, on the other hand, sat down next to he casually. After everyone took their seats, Kong Admiral is sitting at the top, with Sengoku and Zephyr on the left, Vice Admiral and Lu Chan on the right. It has to be said that the closer to the empty Admiral's position, the more important it proves to Marine. Of course, there are exceptions. For example, Garp is sitting at the conference table at the end opposite the empty Admiral, the farthest location. But that doesn't mean Marine doesn't pay attention. On the contrary, he was asked to sit closer several times, but Garp refused outright. In his words, it doesn't matter what the content of the meeting is. He can't understand much of the content and is not interested in it. Carrying out missions and chasing down pirates is what the eldest brother of the monkey family is interested in. Luchin came back from vacation just in time. You must have heard about the content of this meeting. After everyone was seated, Kong Kong Admiral began to preside over the meeting, mentioning Lu Chen's name at the beginning. Everybody knows. The current little brother of the monkey family is the focus of training at naval headquarters. In the past six months, Rock's pirate has developed rapidly. Recent intelligence shows that Rox wants to contact the Roger pirates in the near future. In fact, it wants to recruit Roger. As soon as this statement came out, although the content of the meeting had been known for a long time, there were still gasps in the conference room. Today's era. If Rox is the overlord, then the Roger pirates, a younger pirate group, will be a legend in this sea. Overlords and legends, if they come into contact, may even unite. The consequences will be very serious. Even Sengoku frowned, feeling deeply stressed. Of course, they haven't really come into contact yet. But as Marines, even if there is a slight possibility, we will do our best to stop it. Kong Kong rubbed his temples and felt a headache. But with our current strength alone, we can't stop them from contacting us. 
Sengoku said with a serious face and a solemn tone. According to CP's information, Rox did not come in person, but appointed two of his strong men, Edward Newgate and Golden Lion Shiki, to make contact. There was a hint of complexity on Kong's face, and he smiled bitterly. Assigning the strongest person under the command of the pirate group originally represents Rock's determination. I'm afraid, if Roger softens his attitude, the next contact will be with Rox himself. Hear this. The conference room fell into dead silence. An invisible pressure lingers in everyone's heart. If that's the case, that's really terrible. Marine, and even the world government, do not want to see this result. Because when the two truly unite, Marine's influence in the new world will drop to an all-time low. But there is also a possibility that they will completely break up after the first contact. Crane Vice Admiral glanced at Lu Chan and found that Monkey had no intention of speaking. She raised her eyebrows and said loudly, When we talk about forming an alliance, we use our own thoughts, but pirates are different. Seeing everyone's eyes focused on him, Vice Admiral he glanced sideways at Lu Chun and said with a smile, this is what Lu Chan just said. I'm just repeating it for you. Ai's voice fell. The focus of everyone's attention instantly fell on Lu Chan. Aha! Lu Chan was stunned for a moment, feeling bitter in his heart. Unexpectedly, he was pulled out by Sister He. However, he quickly adjusted his mentality, organized his language, and said, If it is an alliance, there is still a slight possibility. But if you recruit, that's simply impossible. Why? Kong Kong looked surprised and asked curiously. Roger is still young, and his crew and himself are very strong. So why would he accept recruitment and follow an old man? Lu Chun talked eloquently, with a playful smile on his face. Even within Rock's pirate, there is not necessarily unity. I kind of agree with what Brother Lu Chun said, but I still have to prepare for the worst outcome. Sengoku glanced at Lu Chun and nodded in agreement. Well, then keep an eye on them. If you find anything wrong, Stop them at any time. As he spoke, Kong Kong's eyes slowly scanned the generals. Then, it finally fell on Lu Chun. A smile appeared on his face. Lu Chun, how about leaving this task to you? Mr. Sora, I can do it. Lu Chun nodded in response. In fact, he had wanted to enter the new world for a long time. This time he had the opportunity to experience it. Sengoku, you should also go with me and take care of Lu Chun. Before Admiral Kong finished speaking, Garp, who was sitting at the end of the conference table and was almost asleep, immediately stood up and shouted, Mr. Kong, those are Newgate and Golden Lion, and that be asterisk 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 D. Roger, without me here, how can Sengoku and Lu Chin deal with it? From the looks of it, I feel like there will be a big fuss if I don't agree. Kong stroked his temples and said with a headache, You go too? No, Xiaoyi goes too, everyone. Watch Garp carefully and don't let him mess around. Yes. Sengoku and Lu Chun it all responded. In fact, everyone has already expected this arrangement. As a key training target, Lu Chun would definitely try to arrange this kind of task. As the two powerful men under rocks came into contact with the Roger Pirates, no one was safe in the conference room. Only Garp and others were safe. You can also train Lu Chun, by the way. It can be said that it kills two birds with one stone. Good luck with your return, Garp, and don't screw it up. Zephyr who looks as strong as a tiger but has a gentle temperament, said with a smile. Chapter 13 After leaving the conference room, the four naval headquarters vice admirals each took a warship. Each warship is supported by a thousand elite soldiers. The two brothers of the monkey family, Sengoku, the Buddha who is known as Marine's resourceful person, and vice admiral, the strongest woman in Marine. The four vice admirals are the strongest force that naval headquarters has today. Each one has the ability to guard the sea. Now, they gather together to act just for one thing that cannot be determined. It is conceivable that naval headquarters, and even the world government, attach great importance to this. Garp, Mr. Kong just warned us that we must obey Lu Chin's orders for this mission. The moment before stepping onto the warship, Sengoku turned to look at the careless Garp and warned. TCH, when did I stop listening? Garp picked his nostrils and sneered. A asterisk asterisk hole. Seeing this, Sengoku was furious and could only turn to Lu Chun and remind him. If you want to do something, you can just do it. This be asterisk 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 D thing is watched by me and Ahi. Don't be so nervous, everyone. If it's just to prevent Roger and Rox from reaching a consensus, Marine doesn't have to do anything at all. Seeing Sengoku's lingering fear, Lu Chun waved his hands to let everyone relax and said with a smile. In other words, no matter what Marine does, he can't stop the break between the two pirate groups. 
As for why, you will know sooner or later. He was the first to step onto the warship, his cloak fluttering in the sea breeze, and he did not continue to dwell on this topic. Explaining too much is of no use and will only increase other people's doubts. After all, Lu Chen's self-confidence comes from the memory of his past life and his understanding of big events and strong people. Many details cannot be explained clearly. If this is the case, then just talk less and do more. Crane Vice Admiral and Sengoku looked at Lu Chen's back with a trace of doubt in their eyes, but they didn't say anything on the surface. After three years in Marine, he was promoted to Vice Admiral. This speed is unprecedented. If it weren't for the monkey family, everyone would wonder how such a monster could appear. Why are you just standing there? If you're scared, you can stay. At this time, Garp, who had already boarded the warship, put his hands in his trouser pockets and shouted carelessly. Anyway, it's enough to have Lousy and Lu Chen. The tone is full of provocation. Sengoku couldn't help it and jumped on his dog-headed warship, and the two old friends almost started fighting. Crane Vice Admiral glanced at it, shook his head and smiled bitterly, and then jumped on his warship. The next moment, for huge warships set off from Marine Ford Port in a mighty manner, passed through the Red Line, and entered the waters of New World. Compared to the vast and boundless sea, the four Marine huge warships are as small as the fine sand of the Ganges River. It took more than half a month of sailing to arrive at the coordinates of the sea mentioned in the intelligence. It was an island with lush vegetation and huge animals. Seen from a distance, it looks like an emerald gem dotted on the blue mirror. It's really those bastards, Roger. Why don't we go up and beat him up? Looking at the pirate ship docked at the edge of the island, Garp shouted excitedly and almost couldn't control his rage. Fortunately, Sengoku pressed him down in time and roared, Stop talking nonsense. The people from rocks haven't shown up yet. Hear the words. Garp calmed down a little, but looking at the familiar pirate flag, he felt his blood boiling. Call. Next to him, Lu Chen lit a cigarette, slowly exhaled the smoke, and then asked calmly, Brother, do you have any other feelings for Roger? As a Marine, it's hard to imagine that you can't forget a pirate. What kind of feelings? Garp was stunned for a moment, but he reacted the next moment and was so angry that he wanted to blast Lu Chen. I can testify to this. Your brother is just unconvinced. Roger has escaped so many times when he chased him. Sengoku pressed Garp's shoulder and rarely defended him. Lu Chen was non-committal about this. Later, he may have really developed feelings. Otherwise, how could he even do such a thing as Tugu? Alas, this stupid brother. What is that? Just then, Suru exclaimed. The words fell, the air shook violently, and the sound of breaking through the air came like thunder. Follow the sound. I saw a small black in the sky, flying from the end of the sky towards Roger's Island at high speed. Not long after. The black spots continue to enlarge as they get closer. In the end, it turned into a huge island, casting the shadow of the sea to cover the sky and the sun. It's golden lion Shiki's lion fruit ability. Sengoku shouted in a deep voice, his expression becoming quite solemn. Hey, are we finally going to start? Garp clenched his fists and grinned almost to the ears. The scar at the corner of his eye looks quite unruly. Three big pirates are in contact. I don't know what the final outcome of their negotiations will be. Crane Vice Admiral's pretty face tensed up. In this era, Rox is the undisputed overlord. However, in addition to Captain Rox, his crew members are also well-known big shots. Get ready for the phone bug. After blowing out a smoke ring, Lu Chon took the time to give the instructions and whisper to himself. The gathering of the three young legendary pirates is really like a dream. Boom. The next moment, the huge island fell setting off endless hurricanes and huge waves. Chapter 14 Novel Image Just when marines like Lu Chun were monitoring the islands in the distant sea, the Roger pirates, who were having a banquet, were also attracted by the movement in the sky. Haha, it's this guy Golden Lion. Rayleigh was the first to stand up, holding the hilt of the sword around his waist with his right hand and reminding him with a slightly solemn expression. The Roger pirates, who have been in the New World for many years, have only had more battles with the Rocks Pirates. Therefore, I basically have a very good understanding of Rocks Pirates' crew capabilities. When I saw the black dot at the end of the sky, I immediately guessed that it was the ability of Golden Lion. Really? Just as Rayleigh finished speaking, the black dot flew in at an extremely fast speed, growing in size in the sky, and finally turned into a huge island, flying with a roar like a world-destroying power. This momentum alone is enough to scare any pirate group. 
However, everyone in Roger's pirate group was only slightly stunned. Then he drank and ate meat desperately and used the fastest time to clean up the food and drinks at the banquet. Then he cheered up and waited for the arrival of the enemy. There were rumors before that Rox wanted to recruit our captain, but now it seems the rumors are true. Jabba raised his head and drank all the wine in the glass, then stood up with two axes, looked at his captain with a joking face, and said teasingly, What about Roger? That's Rock's recruitment. How about we consider it too? Bar. The curly-bearded man sitting by the campfire in the distance raised a rebellious smile when he heard Jabba's words. He is the captain of the pirate group. G-O-L, deal Roger this is also the person the rocks want to recruit this time. After finishing the meat on his hands, he raised his hands to wipe the stains on his face casually, then stood up and looked up at the huge island flying towards him at a high speed. If there is only one golden lion Shiki, he is no match for us. As he spoke, Roger picked up the sword on the ground. The twelve skills of the supreme large sword, Ace. Hearing his words, the crew members all laughed. Needless to say, this alone is enough to prove that their captain cannot be recruited and tamed. Haha, ha, I haven't found a suitable opponent recently. I feel like my bones are getting rusty. Roger grinned. Immediately, he grasped the sword tightly with both hands and pulled it sharply. Ace unsheathed it instantly. Now that we're here, let's fight first. The words fell. His body flashed and disappeared from the place in an instant, heading straight towards the island. On the same spot, all the pirate crew members were dumbfounded. This is their captain. Forget it. Since Rox dominated the New World, he hasn't found a suitable opponent for a long time. Rayleigh, who had blonde hair, lowered her eyes slightly and smiled lightly. Everyone expressed understanding. And just then, the huge flying sky island rumbled down, kicking up dust all over the sky. Newgate, are you sure Roger is here? In the dust, an unruly voice sounded. Immediately afterwards, Golden Lion Shiki, who was tall and strong with two long knives coiled around his waist, and his blonde hair was as powerful as a lion's hair, stepped out. From behind, there was a cold snort. Is Lousy your nanny? Newgate, who was seven or eight meters tall and had a golden crescent beard like a giant, jumped down holding Tsong Yunxia, which was also a huge sword. He expressed his dissatisfaction with Golden Lion's doubts. Snort. The Golden Lion in front was angry when he heard this, but suddenly, his expression changed drastically, and he immediately pulled out the two swords from his waist. In an almost instinctive reaction, Shiki swung out the fastest slash ever. Two splendid sword energy shot out, but halfway, they were shattered by a slash that surrounded Haki. Moreover, the man who was more unruly than him was very fast and came close in an instant. Haha, you came just in time. Fight me first and then talk? Roger held the western sword ace and stared at the golden lion with a look of excitement on his face. A asterisk asterisk whole Roger. Lousy is here to recruit you on behalf of Rox. Recruit me? Fight first and then talk. Without letting golden lion finish his words, Roger directly waved the long sword in his hand, slashed out a sword energy that was enough to split the island, and went straight to the front of golden lion. Too fast. Golden lion was not ready at all. He thought he was here to negotiate but he didn't expect that when they met, he would open up without even saying a word. Moreover, looking at the power of Roger's moves, it was obvious that he had no reservations at all. Damn it, Golden Lion was furious and was about to raise his swords to resist. Behind him, a slash that also circled hockey suddenly passed by the Golden Lion and directly collided with Roger's flying slash, erupting into a hurricane that tore apart everything in the air. Gulala, although Lousy hates this guy, he can't let you bully him, Roger. Newgate stepped forward with Tsong Yunchi and directly blocked the Golden Lion with his huge body. There was a blazing light shining in his eyes when he looked at Roger. Ha ha ha, it turns out to be Newgate, what a great time. On the opposite side, Roger was not surprised but delighted. Maid, Newgate, what do you mean? When was Lousy bullied by this guy? After his body floated in the air, Golden Lion stared down at Whitebeard and asked with an unhappy expression. What? That's what I meant. Whitebeard glanced sideways and smiled coldly. Maid, Lousy really wants to kill you first. You annoying be asterisk 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 d. Feeling Whitebeard's disdain, Golden Lion almost exploded with anger. However, they were not given time to react. Roger from the opposite side rushed over again, swiping out the western sword ace in his hand, and two blazing sword lights flew out and faced the two of them directly. Since you're not convinced, let's fight first. Hear the words. 
The expressions of Whitebeard and Golden Lion changed slightly, and they immediately took action at the same time. Rock's instructions were completely forgotten at this time, and he could only look at the opponent in front of him. Chapter 15 Rumble Huge waves of tens of meters rolled. The sky was torn apart, and the whole world became dark. The angry sea roared violently, lightning flashed across the sky, and the whole world changed color in an instant, as if it was angered. Not only that, even warships floating on the sea far away from each other can clearly feel that the sea is shaking violently. The violent shaking almost overturned the soldiers on the deck, shocking everyone. What a terrible sound. Is this a big pirate battle? We haven't even gotten close, but it's already so scary. Many soldiers were talking about it. Those with slightly weaker willpower turned pale with fear. In the direction of the island, the seawater and boulders seemed to have escaped the shackles of gravity and were all floating in the air. The scene was spectacular, as magical as the rules of that world had been rewritten. The fight started. Garp put down his observation glass and clenched his fists again and again. His whole body was restless, as if he was rushing directly to join the battle with these big pirates. In recent years, the New World waters have been dominated by the Rock's pirates' powerful and domineering conquests. Apart from the Roger pirates, there has been no big pirate for a long time. For the battle madman Garp, his body and bones were rusty. If Sengoku and others weren't there, he would have rushed up to fight on his own. Start fighting as soon as we meet? Sengoku glanced sideways at Garp, calming the guy down and then sneered. It seems that Lu Chun is right. Fighting and killing are the normal behavior among pirates. If they had a cordial conversation after meeting, Marine would be the one panicking. The fight now proves that Rock's recruitment will not be so smooth, and the Roger Pirates have no idea in this regard. The two powerful men under Rock's are at war with the Roger Pirates. This is the biggest news on the sea in the past three years. Looking at the chaos caused by the battle in the distance, Vice Admiral Crane raised his eyebrows and said lightly in a sensual voice. There are two admirals under Rock's pirate, Edward Newgate and Golden Lion Shiki. The strength of the two is well known. However, the strength of G.O.L. D. Roger, the captain of the Roger Pirates, is now unimaginably powerful with just one person competing against two opponents. This new generation of pirates has as much potential as the Rock's pirates. For Marine, the threat is also huge. The three Marine veterans had different thoughts and their expressions were constantly changing. Aha, what an unexpected scene. Lu Chun smiled with emotion. Watching the pirates fight is a different kind of scenery. As he spoke, he walked to the beach chair and lay down, resting his head on his hands as if watching a show. Brother, Marine can't just sit idly by when he encounters pirates, right? Garp saw this and smiled encouragingly. Of course, but we have to wait until the pirates finish fighting. Luchin smiled lightly. He is not stupid. As the commander-in-chief of this mission, he naturally would not listen to Garp and let Marine take action casually. The pirates are fighting, and as a Marine, I enjoy watching the show. No matter how heavy the casualties were, he was still a pirate, so he had no psychological burden. Garp, you be asterisk 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 d. Don't think about messing around. Otherwise, if you cause these pirates to speak out in unison, we Marine will be the ones to lose. Sengoku also added, issuing a warning to impulsive Garp. Brother Lu Chun, as the commander-in-chief, please don't mess up the mission by acting without permission. Even Crane Vice Admiral couldn't bear to look at it and reminded him in a serious voice. Before departure, Kong Admiral appointed Lu Chun as the commander-in-chief of the mission. Therefore, in theory, everyone must listen to Lu Chun. A asterisk asterisk hole. I'm just reminding you, brother. You didn't mess up like you said. Seeing that he was being blamed by everyone, Garp was very angry, as if he was just reminding him kindly. Everyone yelled at this. But I'm used to this guy's recklessness. Both of them, old friends for so many years, knew that if it weren't for their overwhelming strength and their reckless character, they would have died in the sea many times. It also proves from the side that Garp is really strong. His strength makes up for his recklessness. In this battle, it lasted for three days and three nights. The originally huge island almost collapsed. The trees fell down and the mountains were in a mess. Is the fight finally over? Lu Chin stood up from the beach chair, his eyes raised, and a bright smile appeared on his face. Oh, are you done? Garp asked, yawning as he slept next to him. What a terrible monster. There was no winner for three days and three nights. Sengoku said with a cold face. He watched with a heavy heart. If all Marines' enemies were like this, it would be too scary. 
Crane Vice Admiral said in a deep voice. Fortunately, there are only a few monsters. Most pirates are normal people. The whole army is moving forward at full speed. Now that the fight is over, it's time for our marines to take action. Standing up from the beach chair, Lu Chin waved his hand and gave the order. Hear this. Garp's eyes lit up. But Sengoku and Crane Vice Admiral were slightly stunned and didn't react. Isn't the task to prevent the two from joining together? Why are you taking action? Brother Lu Chun, our mission? Before the two of them finished speaking, Lu Chun waved his hands directly and said with a smile, I know what you mean, but since you are here, as a Marine, there is no reason to leave the pirates alone. Besides, they must be tired after playing for three days and three nights. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us Marines. This? Crane and Sengoku were speechless. I have to say that this is reasonable and completely irrefutable. But the two of them always felt that something was wrong. Only Garp, who was completely awake, clenched his fists and gritted his teeth and said, As expected of the little brother of the monkey family, he has the style of your elder brother and me. Hear the words. The two Sengokus felt their hearts pounding, and their expressions changed drastically. Then I remembered that Lu Chun and Garp were two brothers, so no wonder they looked so familiar with this behavior. When he was in the first half of Grand Line in the Four Seas, it was rumored that Lu Chan was so reckless, but he didn't expect that after entering the New World and facing the legendary pirate, his true nature would remain unchanged. Big trouble. At this moment, Sengoku and Crane Vice Admiral could not help but have this idea in their hearts. Chapter 16 the righteous points in the first half of the Grand Line have been cleared for three years and have almost reached the ceiling. Now come to New World. Moreover, the pirates in front of me are still the three legendary pirates in the future. If he left it alone, Lu Chun would feel bad about it. It would be too shameful. The only option is to lead the Marines to hunt down these pirates. As for whether there is any gain, it is not that important. And when Lu Chun made this decision, a notification sound that only he could hear suddenly sounded in his mind. Ding. Congratulations to host. You got 30,000 justice points. Hear the system beep. Lu Chun was stunned at first, and then his face was filled with ecstasy. Sure enough, the justice in his heart did not allow him to watch the pirates and let them escape without doing anything. Whether it works or not, give it a try. This is Lu Chen's character. He is impulsive, but very rational, not just reckless like Garp. We have four warships that can surround the island from four directions. We can use the power of long-range artillery to target the Roger Pirate's pirate ship and follow my orders to fire. Lu Chen stood on the bow of one of the warships, facing the sea breeze, holding the phone bug in his palm, and gave instructions calmly. Although there are four Marine Vice Admirals this time, he is the Commander-in-Chief, so even if others have opinions, the power room of the warship will only obey Lu Chen's orders. For a time, four warships spread out and surrounded the island, showing the trend of encirclement. Huge artillery was aimed in the direction of the island. You know, Marine, a huge ocean-going warship, is equipped with firepower that can easily destroy any town. And four such warships have such powerful firepower that they can guarantee the destruction of half of the island. After all, Buster Call only has ten battleships equipped with ten vice admirals. Nowadays, Lu Chun, Garp and others are much more powerful than ordinary vice admiral. It is not an exaggeration to say that they are comparable to most of Buster Call. And this is why Lu Chun has no scruples and takes action directly. Although it seems crazy, I don't know why, hearing your command makes me feel good. Sengoku's voice came through the phone, his tone serious. From the initial doubt to now, seeing that Lu Chun was not foolhardy, the doubt in his heart disappeared. We have the advantage of battleships and artillery. If there is a naval battle, no pirate will be our opponent. Crane Vice Admiral also spoke in agreement. Nanny? Aren't we going to land and fight? At this time, Garp was the most dumbfounded. He even took off his military uniform and cloak, revealing his tendons and strong arms, like a dragon circling, full of a terrifying sense of power. Landing operation? It's not time yet. Lu Chen's confident voice came. But if you are obedient, brother, I can consider letting you log in. You decide. Garp's crisp voice came over the phone. Obviously, in order to be able to land and fight without screwing up the mission, he restrained himself a lot. Even men who are reckless and unrestrained. There are things he cares about. For example, this time's command is related to Lu Chin's future as a Marine. So Garp naturally messed up. On the contrary, if things get out of control, Garp will definitely be the first to step forward and use his own strength to resolve any unstable factors. 
and that's why he clamored for Sora Admiral to appoint him. To this, Lu Chin naturally knows it well. The relationship between men is often that simple. Thank you for trusting me. The next moment, Lu Chun shouted in a deep voice, Fire! For huge marine warships, equipped with terrifying firepower on the sides, all opened up instantly. Black cannonballs, like a heavy rain, covered the Roger pirate ship and fell straight down. And this is still one aspect of the scene. The other three huge battleships also opened fire, aiming at the approximate coordinates of the Roger pirates, and fired directly. Countless cannonballs spanned a distance of several thousand meters. From the ground, it looks like meteorites falling, covering a large area of the sky. Within the island, jungles were destroyed, pits filled with water, and mountains collapsed. For figures stood each. Ha 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 ha, it seems we can't tell the winner. Why don't we stop fighting now? Roger raised his curly black beard, sheathed Ace's knife, and shouted to Golden Lion and Whitebeard with a loud smile. What a headache, Captain! Seeing Roger sheathing his sword, Rayleigh smiled bitterly and also sheathed his sword. And opposite the two people, Golden Lion held the two swords and slapped his face several times. His eyes were sharp and angry, and he wanted to kill the opponent. There is no negotiation, and once it comes, it will be opened up. The fight lasted for three days and three nights, almost driving people crazy. Newgate, you are obviously with Lousy, but you also beat Lousy? Golden Lion thought of something, turned to look at Whitebeard and said angrily. The two had an absolute advantage from the start. However, Whitebeard had no intention of joining forces with the Golden Lion and even wanted to fight the Golden Lion. It wasn't until Rayleigh finally joined the battlefield that this phenomenon changed slightly. Who is joining you? Even though the captains are all rocks, it doesn't mean you are a companion. In response, Whitebeard sneered and looked scornful. Seeing this guy's attitude, Golden Lion was almost furious. If Roger hadn't been here, he would have killed Whitebeard first. Gula, Roger, it seems you have rejected our captain's kindness, right? Whitebeard turned his head, stared at Roger, and said matter-of-factly. You still understand me, Newgate? Roger raised one hand as an invitation and said with a smile, but since we are all here and fighting, why don't you stay and have a banquet before leaving? Teeth, who cares about your banquet? Golden Lion said coldly, with an unhappy look on his face. Since you refused, I wish you good luck and don't let us see you in the future. After finishing speaking, he was the first to turn around. Gulala, I hope your luck can be maintained. Whitebeard also raised his head and laughed, then turned around and followed the Golden Lion while holding the long knife. But just then, thunderous gunfire sounds suddenly came from the sea outside the island. Immediately afterwards, everyone saw densely packed black artillery shells landing in the sky. It's Marine, our ship. Rayleigh was the first to react, and her expression changed drastically. Everyone in the pirate group was shocked when they heard this. Protect the ship first. Jabba was furious, turned around and galloped straight towards the pirate ship in the port with two axes in hand. But it's a pity. Too late. Shells fell, covering their area. At the same time, it also fell on the pirate ship. Fire broke out and smoke filled the air, almost sinking the pirate ship. Asterisk, asterisk, hole. It's that marine who dares to provoke us. Seeing the pirate ship on fire, Roger's expression changed drastically, and he burst out with terrifying murderous intent. He knows marine's strength very well. Neither Garp, nor Sengoku, nor even Zephyr, would sink a pirate ship silently. Hey, marine. The one who destroyed our pirate ship will be in trouble. When the other crew members saw this, they all sneered in anger. However, they didn't wait for a reaction. The second wave of shells came again. Moreover, this time the destroyed pirate ships were abandoned, and instead they all landed on the island where the Roger pirates were located. Chapter 17 Jia ha ha ha, I didn't expect to be followed by Marine, I deserve it. Golden Lion, who was controlling the island to take off, looked down at the scene below and couldn't help but burst into laughter. To be honest, seeing the Roger pirates in such a mess made him feel good. On the contrary, Whitebeard next to him had a solemn expression, and his eyes scanned the warship below with a very complicated look. Where did these guys come from? He spoke in a deep voice and gritted his teeth. Shiki, you brainless guy, have you forgotten what the captain ordered? Upon hearing this, Golden Lion was stunned and a little confused. Newgate, who are you with no brains? Are you just here to recruit Roger? In the end, Golden Lion himself was dumbfounded. The next moment, he seemed to think of something, and said with surprise, Hey, hey, you mean, 
Do you want to show that our pirate group has an undercover spy? It must be said that this discovery shocked the still young Golden Lion. Whitebeard glanced sideways, staring at him coldly. Do you doubt me? Feeling Whitebeard's leering look, Golden Lion's face turned red with annoyance, and he almost jumped up. However, Whitebeard sneered and immediately looked towards the sea below. No, you don't have the IQ. Before Golden Lion could get angry, he continued. But the pirate group has spies from the world government infiltrating it. So I think we should be alert. Hear the words. Golden Lion's face changed slightly, and he felt the seriousness of the situation. And the sea below. On the blue sea, Lu Chun stood on the bow of the battleship, his posture as straight as a benchmark, and his cloak of justice was flying in the sea breeze. Brother, Sengoku. A sister he. He held the phone bug in his palm, looked at the pirate ships heading toward the coast, and said calmly, the members of Roger's pirate group have separated. Brother and Sengoku are responsible for pestering Roger. I'll deal with the others. Sister he is responsible for commanding the warships and is always ready to support or fire cannons to annihilate the enemy. As his voice fell, an undetectable exclamation came from the phone. Wait a minute, brother. Are these guys really on your side of the coast? Garp exclaimed. Yes. I don't want to say anything, but as Roger's right-hand man, these guys are not so easy to deal with. Sengoku's tone was quite solemn. Unexpectedly, Lu Chon would be so crazy. To be alone, he had to leave the entire pirate group except Roger. Don't worry, I have a way to cut them apart and defeat them one by one. Start taking action now, otherwise we will be in trouble when they gather again. After finishing speaking, Lu Chen directly closed the phone buck, sizzling. The next moment, blue electric arcs jumped from his body surface, shining with brilliant light. Stop the shelling and prevent someone from breaking out of the island. After giving the order, Lu Chin's figure flashed, and his whole person turned into a bolt of lightning and disappeared from the place in an instant. Observation Hockey has an electromagnetic bonus and covers the entire island. In an instant, everything was under Lu Chin's gaze. Call out, the sword energy of tens of meters rose up, destroying all the cannonballs that landed on top of the head. The fire was bright and continuous in the midair. More than one warship, we seem to be surrounded. Roger waved his sword and destroyed countless cannonballs, then shouted solemnly. At this time, he finally understood the seriousness of the matter. Whitebeard and Golden Lion had just stepped onto another island to leave, and then Marine's cannonballs fell. This is not suspicious, but it is really hard to imagine. Anyway, after hearing Roger's words, Jabba and others' expressions changed dramatically. Looking at the warship's attack, it was completely aimed at the Roger pirates, which seemed to catch them all. A asterisk asterisk hole. Are they those guys from Newgate? I've known for a long time that the people in Rock's pirate do things unscrupulously. The fact that they were able to find us proves they have incredible intelligence capabilities. The crew members all felt angry and roared. Stop saying stupid things. It's not them. Roger shook his head, looked solemnly in the direction of the port, and shouted, Jabba, follow Rayleigh. There is only one warship in that direction. After you repair the ship, I will join you again. Yes, Jabba responded, took everyone with him, turned around and left with the axe in hand. Everyone obeys the captain's words unconditionally. The most important thing is that in the hearts of everyone, their captain is very strong. Garp you be asterisk 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 d. After watching everyone go to the port, Roger suddenly turned his head and galloped towards the other side of the island. There was an aura that felt familiar and dangerous to him. Apparently it's the Marine Vice Admiral Monkey D. Garp, I've dealt with many times. But just then, a loud shout came from the direction of the pirate ship. With style, the world of flowers and trees is coming. As the words fell, the entire island shook violently, the surface broke open, and the plants seemed to have lost their stimulation and began to grow crazily. In just a moment, it broke through the bulging tree-trunked mountains on the surface, penetrated the rocks, cut off the river, covered the entire island, and completely changed the island's topography. At the same time, on the tree trunk, strange petals were blooming, which looked quite dreamy. How is this going? Roger was shocked and turned to look towards the coast, only to find that the back road was broken off and was surrounded by huge tree roots and beautiful flowers. Is this Marine's trick? He snorted, waving the ace in his hand and cutting the path ahead. Compared to Marine's methods, Garp and Sengoku are more important. In Roger's mind, as long as he entangled these two people, Rayleigh and others would have a chance to repair the pirate ship and escape. 
But unfortunately, he was wrong this time. Boo 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 boo. The flowers growing from the tree trunks are in full bloom at this moment, sending out wisps of fragrant pollen, floating throughout the island. Huh. This is. Some crew members were curious and took a closer look. Their eyes turned white and they immediately passed out. The companions not far away were shocked when they saw this. But before he could react, he inhaled the pollen and fell to the ground with a plop. Whoosh whoosh. Thick vines, like spiritual snakes given life, covered them one by one, swallowing them up and then dragged them away silently. Something weird. Jabba, who was walking in front, looked solemn. He turned around and looked back and found that there were two missing crew members. He couldn't help but be shocked, and not far away from the coast. Because it is blocked by huge tree trunks, nothing inside the island can be seen from the outside. Sizzling, the void arc was shining, condensing continuously, and finally transformed into a young man wearing a marine cloak, slowly standing on the bow of the ship. Silver Rayleigh, nicknamed Pluton Rayleigh, is the right arm of the Roger Pirates. The bounty is 1.23 billion baileys. Lu Chun put his hands in his trouser pockets, looked at Rayleigh with golden beard and hair indifferently, and said with a smile, I am now officially arresting you in the name of justice. Chapter 18 Arrest? Rayleigh was stunned at first, and then suddenly understood the identity and intention of the visitor. Have to say, he had almost never heard the word arrest in this ocean. Even Garp and Sengoku and Marine had never said this to him. Because arrest means the need for overwhelming strength. As for the young Marine in front of him, judging from the medal on his shoulder, it should belong to the Vice Admiral, right? At first glance, he looked very young, about 12 years old. Yes, becoming a Vice Admiral at a young age is considered an extremely rare monster among Marines and in this sea. It seems that the attack just now was ordered by you. And what's going on with the plants on this island? Rayleigh's face was sullen, and there was a hint of coldness in the mirror, and he said, Marine Vice Admiral who has the ability of Logia Fruit, tell me your name. The ship that carries our dreams cannot be allowed to be destroyed by you. As he spoke, he lifted up his cloak, slowly pulled out the long sword from his waist, and pointed it at Lu Chun. Dream? For some reason, after hearing Rayleigh's words, Lu Chun couldn't help but sneer and said, It seems that you pirates all have great dreams. He is worthy of being the deputy of the future Pirate King. Facing a Logia fruit user, he showed no fear and even released his murderous intent. TSK TSK, he is indeed a lawless pirate. Even Marine can't insult our dreams at will. Rayleigh spoke in a deep voice, and the long sword vibrated violently, swirling a layer of armament hockey. Young man, don't think that a person with Logia ability is invincible. An arrogant and stupid guy like you has no chance in this sea, Minnie. Ha ha ha. Before Rayleigh could finish speaking, Lu Chun couldn't help laughing. That laughter was like hearing the funniest joke in the world. You, Rayleigh's eyes darkened, and he raised his hand to strike with his sword. The dreams of the captain and his companions cannot be insulted. Even Marine can't do it. What is your dream? But at this time, Lu Chun raised his hand, slowly straightened his waist, his smile gradually faded, and asked seriously. Rayleigh's raised sword paused for a moment. He didn't want to answer the guy who was laughing at their dream. But looking at Lu Chin's serious attitude, he finally sneered and said, Sail freely in this sea. This is our dream. Other than that? Lu Chin looked increasingly serious. No more, but before that, anyone who blocks our dreams will be sunk into the sea by us. When talking about dreams, Rayleigh was more serious than ever before. He pointed the long sword in his hand at Lu Chun and said solemnly, Even Marine is no exception. Sailing this sea freely sounds like a wonderful dream. Lu Chin nodded, with a serious look that almost made Rayleigh go berserk, and then continued. But I have a question. It seems that the port towns of the Joya Kingdom were destroyed by your Roger pirates. Abona Island, your pirate group went a hunt for treasure, and ended up clashing with another pirate group. The result was that the town was destroyed. There was also a king who scolded you because you robbed the tax money. Then, you kill all their troops. Behind every soldier in the army is a family. And is this what you call blocking dreams? Lu Chun took his hands out of his trouser pockets and slowly spread them out with a curious expression. The coast is quiet here. The sea breeze blew in, lifting the ink-colored cloak of justice and making a rustling sound. Rayleigh lowered his head, his lenses glowing strangely. After a while, he slowly raised his head. His eyes became firm. He stared at Lu Chun and said word by word, We are pirates 
there is nothing wrong with us, have to say. Since becoming a pirate, Rayleigh has encountered many marines. But never before had a marine like the young man in front of him given him an invisible pressure. For a moment, my will almost wavered. However, after hearing Rayleigh's words, Lu Chun suppressed his smile, clenched his hands into fists, and the arc of lightning wrapped around his arms, blooming with a dazzling pale electric light. He looked indifferent, his eyes were cold, and he said in a deep voice, since he is a pirate, the words paused slightly. Then, a cold voice roared with endless killing intent. Then don't step on Ma's insulting dream. When these words fell, Lu Chen's fists, carrying a million thunderbolts, exploded with unparalleled power and struck violently. Too fast, even though Rayleigh had been prepared, when Lu Chun took action, his pupils suddenly shrank and his expression changed drastically in an instant. One second ago, the other party is still at the bow of the ship. The next second, the fists surrounded by bright electric light suddenly came closer. Rayleigh only had time to lift up the long sword with the crossbar in front of her. Boom! The long sword collided with the lightning-wrapped fist, and endless lightning burst out, dancing along the air like a spiritual snake. The air seemed to be squeezed to the limit and finally released at this moment. The invisible shock wave spread like ripples, and the deck of the pirate ship suddenly couldn't bear it and collapsed in an instant. You! Rayleigh's eyes widened. She didn't expect this young marine to be so powerful. However, as an experienced pirate, he adjusted in an instant. He circled Hockey's long sword and slashed out, creating a sword light that was enough to cut through the mountains. Sizzling, Lu Chin's whole body flashed with electric light, and then suddenly dispersed, turning into electric light, dodging Rayleigh's explosive blow. When he appeared again, he was already standing on the coast. The sword light passed through his original position and cut thousands of meters of sea surface. One can imagine how terrifying the power of this sword is. Young man, don't be too arrogant. You alone can't defeat me. Standing on the boat, Rayleigh looked down at Lu Chun and said in a cold tone, Yeah. Lu Chin's eyes raised. At this moment, Rayleigh felt dangerous alert in her heart. In an almost instinctive reaction, he stepped forward and moved six or seven meters laterally. Boom. The place where he was standing was blown away by a figure. That's Lu Chun. How can it be? When Rayleigh saw this, he was dumbfounded. He turned to look at Lu Chun on the coast with an unprecedented look of fear. What kind of ability are you? Lu Chun from the coast smiled but said nothing. Because Lu Chen's figure kept walking out from all directions on the ship, each one was surrounded by lightning and exuded an astonishing aura. Now, I'll beat you one out of ten. The words fell. Together with Lu Chun on the coast, they all rushed towards Rayleigh on the pirate ship. The mysterious boxing techniques that spread in all directions were impossible to guard against. Even if the other nine people were not strong enough, they would not be able to withstand too much. If hit, the body will become sluggish and paralyzed. In less than ten seconds, Lu Chin's real body suddenly appeared behind Rayleigh, grabbed his shoulders with his big hands, and slammed him down towards the deck. There was a loud bang. The entire dilapidated pirate ship fell apart in an instant and completely collapsed, with sawdust flying all over the sky. The sea surface also sank a full three meters due to the huge air pressure. It spread to the coast, collapsed a hundred meters of coast, and sank directly to the bottom of the sea. I said, Mr. Rayleigh, you are to be formally arrested. Standing on a huge tree trunk, Lu Chen lit a cigarette, his eyes slightly lowered, watching the life-giving tree roots pull out the unconscious Rayleigh from the sea, and said in an indifferent tone. Chapter 19 the tree roots entangled Rayleigh's body and limbs, lifting him up and hanging in the air, swaying gently with the sea breeze. His body was hit many times by Lu Chin's gentle fist. If it were an ordinary person, he would have collapsed countless times. Only the right arm of the future Pirate King can persist until now. However, in the face of Lu Chin's endless and unimaginable abilities, it was impossible to cope with it. And the other side, kindness? Roger had reached the other end of the island but suddenly stopped and turned to look back. He has the ability to listen to all things, and the voice of his companions suddenly sounded in his heart. No more than one, but one voice after another. They are calling for help and are in crisis, Roger reacted. His black curly beard trembled a few times, and his expression changed drastically. Who exactly did he encounter that put both Rayleigh and Jabba in crisis? I have to say, this is incredible. As the future Pirate King, the strength of his own crew is no less than that of Rock's pirate team. 
even Shanks, and in turn 20 years later, will grow up to be on an equal footing with Whitebeard. What's more, the crew members are still young and strong. Not to mention the arrival of only four warships, even if the Air Admiral arrives in person, he will be able to break through and leave calmly. But now, it's these weird plants. At this moment, Roger's eyes suddenly focused, and he noticed the flowers blooming on the roots of the tree. The fragrant pollen floated out, causing his movements to lag slightly. Buzz. The next moment, Hockey released suddenly, dispelling the discomfort in his body. Who on earth actually used this method to ambush my partner? I said. Roger was angry, his eyes sharp and scary. Holding the ace sword, he turned around and swung the sword, smashing the plants behind him and opening a path. Wait for me, everyone. I thought silently in my heart. Roger didn't dare to delay and immediately headed to the original coast. But right now, two dull loud bangs hit the ground. Roger, your sailing days are over. Sengoku shouted with a cold face. Before, he was still confused as to what Lu Chan should do to keep the Roger pirates. Now, I finally understand. Although I am surprised by the crazy growth of plants on this island, now is obviously not the time to be curious. This time the Roger pirates are unprepared, and this is a rare opportunity. If they miss it, they won't be able to be like now when the other party is prepared. It has to be said that even Garp was surprised to achieve this level. But he only had Roger in his eyes, and he didn't bother to pay attention to the others. You want to stop me? Seeing the two people appear, Roger's expression became more solemn than ever before. Today, it seems difficult to be kind. This is what we Marines should do. Sengoku had a sullen face, grabbed the cloak with one hand, and threw it aside with a wave of his hand. Next to it, the same is true for Garp. The two men showed strong bodies and terrifying momentum, oppressing them like two mountains. In that case, let's fight. Roger grinned sneer, and the ace western sword in his hand was entangled with wisps of hockey. The violent aura erupted from his body, confronting the auras of Garp and Sengoku, as if the world was about to be crushed. This is the character of the future Pirate King. If there is no need to retreat, one can only keep moving forward, just like his life of sailing the sea. Jehahaha Roger, it seems you are in big trouble. But at this moment, a wanton laughter came from the sky. Next moment, the two roaring momentums were overwhelming, and they squeezed in from the three people confronting each other, growling. You look so embarrassed, Roger. Whitebeard stood on the edge of the floating sky island, looking down with cold eyes and smiling. The appearance of the two men caused Sengoku's expression to change slightly. Even Garp's eyes hardened a little. These two guys haven't left yet? If it's just to make fun of you, then there's no need. Roger shook the ace sword and said in a bad tone. As a legendary pirate, he has no interest in letting his enemies see his embarrassing side. However, the answers of Whitebeard and Golden Lion made the three people present a little unresponsive. Leave this place to us. Go back to your friends. Jumping down from the floating island and hitting the ground like a meteorite, Whitebeard's huge body stood directly in front of Roger. Jahaha, although I really want to kill you, if you fall into Marine's hands, it will be an insult to us pirates. The golden lion slowly floated down with a cold smile on his face. The reason is ridiculous and bizarre. But Roger just grinned, very decisively, turned around and left. Garp and Sengoku wanted to pursue, but were intercepted by Golden Lion and Whitebeard. Lion Majesty. Earth coiling, the ground seemed to be given life, turning into two huge lion heads that flew into the air and flew towards the marines with their teeth and claws spread out. It was as huge as a warship, covering the sky and the sun, and crashed down violently. Buddha's impact. Sengoku's body suddenly swelled, and his skin glowed with golden luster, like a golden Buddha. He released a shockwave and directly destroyed the lion's head in the air. If you are allowed to do whatever you want, it will be a violation of justice, he shouted coldly. Next to him, Garp also took action, covering armament hockey's iron fist, making it indestructible and blasting straight towards Whitebeard. Buzz! The fist covered with a silver-white halo raised and blocked Garp's iron fist. The terrifying shock force was released at this moment, directly bouncing the two of them away. Gulala, can you stop it? Whitebeard sneered, and the clouds fell in circles, sweeping across a large area of mountain forest. This battle affected half of the island. Roger, who had already walked far away, could feel the movement of landslides and ground cracks behind him. I, Roger, will remember this kindness. He gritted his teeth and muttered to himself, 
then raised his eyes and stared coldly in the direction of the coast. No matter who you are, if you dare to attack my friends, you will be buried in the sea, boom. The air that Haki rubbed caused lightning to burst out. The speed was so fast that he directly broke through the road covered with plants, like a sharp knife, cutting through all obstacles blocking his progress. Chapter 20 Oh! After defeating Rayleigh, Lu Chan was about to take action again when his eyebrows suddenly raised. In his observation hockey and electromagnetic induction, it can be clearly sensed that on the other side of the island, for violent momentums are colliding, erupting into waves that are almost devastating to the world. The island was shaking, and the sea surface in the distance was roaring and rising, setting off huge waves of tens of meters. One of the breaths rushed back quickly. You don't need to look at it to know that it must be Roger, the future Pirate King. I still underestimate these pirates, but I can put aside my prejudices and rescue them. I am indeed a good friend in the future, Lu Qian said lightly to himself, then turned his head to look at the nearby area, and a sneer gradually appeared at the corner of his mouth. Then let's see which one arrives first, or which one of your crew members falls first. The words fell, sizzling. Electricity bloomed all over Lu Qian's body, and his whole person turned into lightning all over the sky, disappearing in an instant. The island covered with huge and boundless plants divides the land into areas. These are plant trunks. Their growth seems to be endless, like a dragon circling, changing the topography of the island all the time. The Roger pirates who were originally gathered together. At this time, the crew members gathered around Copper Jabba were all extremely cautious. With the previous disappearing partner as a warning, no one dared to be careless. Faced with this ambush method, the pirates were frightened. Damn it. What the hell is this thing, and why does it keep growing? Using a pair of axes to split the obstacles in front of him, Jabba led the crew and rushed over. Behind it, the destroyed plants grew rapidly visible to the naked eye, and then closed the island again. It can be said that because it is covered by huge tree trunks, in the eyes of everyone, it is like walking into a huge maze, and even the direction cannot be distinguished. Boom, at this moment, a huge bolt of lightning came, covering the pirate at the end and drowning him directly. Blazing light and arcs were released, illuminating the world with a dazzling light. Pedum. The people in front turned their heads to look, and their expressions changed drastically and they shouted. Jabba rushed forward first and swept Haki's axe, shattering the lightning and filling the void with arcs of electricity. However, Pedum's figure disappeared. Burnt black smoke rises from the ground, and the huge tree trunk slides slowly like a spiritual snake. The strange scene makes people feel numb. Damn it. Who is it? Come out. Damn be asterisk 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 d. Come out and fight if you can. Don't be sneaky. Is Marine this kind of person who hides his face? It has to be said that under continuous attacks, the crew members disappeared one after another. The mentality of the people gathered together was almost broken. At this moment, he couldn't help but roar to the sky, venting the endless anger in his heart but there was no response to their anger. As long as these pirates are a little careless, thunder like heavenly punishment will appear out of thin air and knock down one crew member after another. After the lightning disappeared, the fallen figure disappeared mysteriously. This torture lasted for half a minute. At this time, there were less than five or six crew members gathered around Jabba. The future pirate king held a pair of axes on his left wrist. He was vigilant about his surroundings, but could not see any trace of the enemy and he couldn't help but become furious. Even observation hockey couldn't detect the slightest hint of an enemy nearby. No, prepare to speak. The breath spreads across the entire island, and the wildly growing plants exude a strong breath of life, so much so that the breath that everyone felt seemed to be everywhere. Fortunately, just when everyone was about to despair, a familiar and powerful aura came at great speed from a distance. So fast, it covered a distance of a hundred meters almost instantly. Swish. The sword energy surrounding Hockey's lightning destroyed the wall like plants. Roger leaped out holding the ace sword. Captain. Jabba and the others exclaimed, with joy on their faces. However, Roger's face was filled with anger, and he looked past Jabba and the others, looking behind them. You are not allowed to take action against my companions. An angry roar fell. His speed did not slow down and the ace in his hand was surrounded by hockey lightning, and he slashed at it violently. God avoids. Carrying the sword energy that cuts through everything, the blood-colored lightning is densely covered, causing the color of the world to change. 
This blow has the power to obliterate all things. Even Jabba and the others, who were members of the crew, all changed their expressions. It was also the first time for them to see the captain take action in such an angry manner, which was as terrifying as the anger of a god. Call out, the sword energy passed over Jabba and the others and shot toward the tree trunk in the distance behind them. Feel the angry slashes of the future pirate king. Lu Chun, who was originally hiding in the tree trunk, suddenly shrank his pupils and quickly formed seals with his hands, summoning fivefold Rashomon. As the words fell, five giant ghost-faced iron gates burst out of the ground, blocking Lu Chen's path with B asterisk 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 G bangs, and cutting off the path of the sword energy. Next moment, loud noise and vibration. The sword energy moved forward relentlessly, continuously smashing four giant ghost-faced iron gates, and finally exploded, releasing a wave that destroyed the world. The last iron gate with a grimace couldn't bear it and fell down. The strong wind blew up, lifting the cloak on Lu Chen's shoulders, but he remained motionless, standing on a high place, overlooking the pirates below. Oh, the captain is finally here? His face was stern, and his sword eyebrows were raised slightly. You actually blocked it? In the distance, Roger showed a trace of surprise on his face. He immediately looked at Lu Chun coldly and said in a deep voice, with such strength, no wonder you are so arrogant. He held up Ace, pointed the tip of the sword at him, and said coldly, but if you treat us like ordinary pirates, you will definitely pay the price. Ordinary pirate? Hearing Roger's words, Lu Chun couldn't help but laugh. When did scum begin to differentiate between high and low? It sounds like you still despise your peers. Let's not talk about what Roger pirates did before. Just because he, the future pirate king, started the age of discovery before his death, causing the world to fall into chaos, is enough to make him die without mercy. Since you choose to become a pirate, you are standing on the opposite side of Marine's justice. Even if you kill this kind of guy, you won't have any psychological burden. Chapter 21 Unexpectedly, the reasons these pirates were proud of were as funny as a joke in Lu Chen's eyes. Even someone with a carefree personality like Roger couldn't bear it at all. Buzz. His anger level instantly exploded, the terrifying momentum was released, and the air pressure suddenly lost balance, like a mountain pressing down. Conqueror's hockey. Since you are a scumbag, don't make so many excuses. Lu Chun had a cold face. At the same time, the body flashing with electric arcs suddenly erupted with a heaven-shaking momentum. The two conquerors' hockey collided midway. It was like two huge worlds crazily squeezing and rubbing against each other. The sky and the earth were filled with lightning, and the terrifying pressure shocked everyone. Those who were slightly less conscious had cold sweat dripping from their foreheads. This guy's conqueror's hockey can actually compete with the captain? Jabba couldn't help but gasp. His eyes widened and rounded, as if he was in disbelief. Real or fake? Having conqueror's hockey isn't worth the fuss, but the intensity? How old is this guy? He's as strong as a monster. Even hockey is not weaker than the captain. Being targeted by a monster like Marine will definitely cause trouble in the future, right? You still think about it. You don't even know if you can go out in the future. This guy is as scary as Garp. The remaining crew members all screamed in surprise. As everyone knows, Conqueror's hockey is innate and cannot be obtained or grown through practice. It is determined by one's own fate whether to have it, and it can only be strengthened through one's own growth. Lu Chun, who looks only about 20 years old, has a conqueror's hockey that is no less than Roger, who is almost 40 years old. Obviously, the young vice admiral in front of him has a destiny that is no weaker than Roger's. The most shocking thing is that he is too young. So much so that everyone would ignore his age and place him in the category of powerful men in the Mesozoic era. In fact, if we want to divide it, Lu Chen is more than one generation younger than Garp, a powerful person from the Mesozoic era. Therefore, with his current age, he can collide with the top powerhouses of the Mesozoic era, which has to be shocking. I underestimated you. Feeling the power of Lu Chen's conquerors, even Roger looked solemn and said in a deep voice, Your strength makes me see Garp, but your words and deeds make me see Sengoku. After finishing speaking, he shook his head again. No, it's a more extreme combination than the two of them. An unimaginably terrifying enemy. Roger commented on this and immediately restrained himself from Conqueror's hockey. With the ability to listen to all things, he knew exactly how much of a threat the young man in front of him posed. It can be said that even when facing rocks, there is no greater crisis than the other party. Thanks. 
Lu Chun looked at Roger indifferently, and also put away hockey indifferently. This is a high praise for a righteous marine. Words, tit for tat. The words fell. The place fell silent. Their eyes met, and sparks appeared from the friction in the air. The atmosphere became extremely oppressive, and the world seemed to be pressed together by invisible forces, making people almost breathless. Next moment, Lu Chin moved. The release of hockey and lightning made him look dazzling, but also contained the power of destruction. Roger on the opposite side also moved. The supreme large sword ace was chopped out by him with his hand, releasing Chui Chu was flying slash. Boom, there was a loud noise and dust rose into the sky. The two figures separated as soon as they touched each other, standing tens of meters apart. But soon, they rushed towards each other again. Lu Chen's whole body bursts with electric light, which is gorgeous and dazzling. The secret of gentle fist is filled with weirdness and terror under the blessing of lightning. Every time a punch landed, Roger had to block carefully. At the same time, figures of Lu Chun rushed out from all directions. This picture makes people feel scalp numb. Damn it, what kind of ability is this? Even though Jabba had seen so much, he felt chills running down his spine. Not to mention the other crew members, they were already stunned with fear. I'll hold this guy back while you go find Rayleigh, just towards the coast. Roger used his huge sword to resist attacks from all directions. Even though it was very difficult, he still turned around and yelled at his companions in the distance. After his reminder, Jabba and others woke up one after another. Without hesitation at all, he immediately galloped in one direction. Can you find it? When one of them, Lu Chen, saw this, he immediately stepped back a few meters, quickly formed seals with his hands, and clapped violently. Would style would dragon technique? The crazily growing tree trunks suddenly became even crazier. Countless tree roots were entangled and intertwined, forming a wooden dragon that was comparable to a mountain. It roared and swept towards Jabba and the others. This terrifying and weird ability scared everyone's expressions. Humph, God's avoidance. Roger swept his sword across, forcing all the attacking Lu Chin clones back. Then he jumped up high and swung a sword light towards the wooden dragon. The wooden structure of the wooden dragon broke from the middle and crashed to the ground with a loud bang. After all, it is wood, and it is difficult to resist a sword. Lu Chun raised his sword eyebrows, changed his handprint again, and then clapped it suddenly. For red yang formation, accompanied by a loud shout. Toward the coast, a rectangular flame-like barrier rose up, covering several kilometers, directly isolating Jabba and the others. Damn, what is this? Jabba and the other pirates struck a few times, but the barrier didn't move at all. Looking through the transparent fiery red barrier, the unconscious Rayleigh and her companions were all tied up by trees and hung in the air like rice dumplings. Hey, how many abilities does this monster have? This time, even Roger took a breath. He has never fought against a strong person in physical skills, demon fruit power, and strong swordsmanship, and the minimum is 800. As strong as Garp and Sengoku, Roger couldn't be surprised. Because, for a strong man like him, he feels that this is the strength that a normal person should have. But the Luchin in front of me. It seems that he is completely different from ordinary people. In addition to hockey and taijutsu, the ability to perform the seals with both hands is simply impossible to guard against. It seems that this alone cannot keep you. At this time, Lu Chun frowned slightly, and a trace of impatience flashed in his eyes. Although the wood style is very powerful, for a swordsman like Roger, it can be broken easily and cannot pose a greater threat to him. If you want a quick victory, you can only open the eight inner gates. When he thought of this, Lu Chen's expression became solemn. Even if his physical fitness is unparalleled, he doesn't want to activate it at will unless it is absolutely necessary because that is the strength that consumes the body's potential and increases vitality. But the future Pirate King is too powerful. But at this moment, a sense of crisis suddenly arose in Lu Chen's heart, and his instinctive reaction to fighting forced him to break away from the battle and quickly retreat. Swish! The moment he stepped back, two sword lights spanning thousands of meters passed directly by him and hit the four red yang formation barrier, making a loud roar. Roger, get ready to leave. The roar of the golden lion came from the sky. Next moment, the huge island is covered in shadow. Standing on the edge of the island, golden lion and whitebeard looked down with solemn expressions and immediately locked onto Roger's figure. Behind them, the golden Buddha and a human-shaped black were chasing after them. Isn't this Marine Vice Admiral Lu Chin? When they saw Lu Chun, whitebeard and golden lion were slightly startled. 
Do you know him? Roger asked in shock. I don't know him, but there are rumors that he is Garp's younger brother. Whitebeard shouted in a deep voice. What? Roger's pupils suddenly shrank when he heard it was Brother Garp. Chapter 22 At this time, he suddenly realized that Lu Chin's young appearance was not as rugged as Garp's, but his facial features were still very similar. It's just that in terms of temperament, one is carefree and the other is active. But in terms of strength, it is equally powerful and makes people feel desperate. Moreover, Lu Chen's ability is really hard to guard against. Rumble. At this time, the island had landed and was suspended in mid-air. The shadow covered most of the island, filling the sky with a sense of oppression. Lion fruit ability. How convenient. In the distance, Lu Chun stood firm and looked up, still thinking this. Then, he raised the corner of his mouth slightly and teased Roger, who looked astonished. As the captain of the pirate group, I have most of your crew in my hands. Are you sure you can leave on your own? G-O-L, D. Roger. Lu Chen's eyes were indifferent, and he put his hands into his trouser pockets with an expression as if he was watching a show. The square red barrier is like a transparent wall that separates two worlds. From the outside, you can clearly see the scene inside. The unconscious Rayleigh and more than a dozen crew members had their limbs and bodies tied up by tree roots and hung in the air. The breeze blew, and more than a dozen partners and crew members were swaying in the wind. Captain, Jabba and others came to Roger's side. He raised his hand and patted the captain's shoulder with a very low tone. Captain, Garp and Sengoku are coming. You decide. Hey, do you want to die here? It's actually not bad. Stay or go as you like. We all trust the captain anyway. The few remaining crew members opened their mouths to comfort each other. At the same time, each of them held the weapons in their hands tightly, with cold sweat breaking out on their foreheads, ready for the final battle to the death. Be asterisk 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 D Roger. If you don't run away, Lousy will ignore you. Golden Lion shouted angrily. In the void behind him, the Golden Buddha was very close. He was chasing him across half of the island on Moonwalk. The black spots on the human form gradually became clear. That was Garp with a naked upper body, showing off his muscular body. He grinned and looked very excited, chasing after her from behind. How could we easily let go of the opponent we finally found? You're right. As a captain, I really can't leave the crew behind and escape alone. At this time, Roger withdrew his gaze from the direction of the barrier, turned to stare at Lu Chun, and said solemnly, But if I stay here today, I really have no chance to save them. Hear this. Jabba and many other crew members looked slightly startled, and then they all showed relieved smiles. The Golden Lion and Whitebeard on the island all narrowed their eyes. It seemed that he didn't expect that Roger would think this way. Have to say, when faced with major choices, he can make the most correct choice. He deserves to be the future Pirate King and has great luck. Ever since, the Roger Pirates, with less than 10 people left, jumped onto the island controlled by Golden Lion. However, he raised his hand to stop the Golden Lion from leaving. Instead, he turned around and looked in the direction of Lu Chen. Say your name. Roger stared at Lu Chen as if he wanted to carve him into the depths of his soul. The tone was very solemn, and he obviously regarded Lu Chun as an unprecedented opponent. Monkey D. Lu Chun. In this regard, Lu Chun shrugged and said frankly, You have to remember it, because this name will be you, no, you, and you, and all the pirates in this sea, in the future. Nightmare. You can get away this time, but next time, you won't be so lucky. Lu Chun raised his head, glanced at Roger and others with cold eyes and said in an indifferent tone, The world is like this. When freedom becomes a luxury, pirates will not become extinct. Roger raised his chin and said confidently, No, it is because of you pirates that most people in the world do not have freedom. Lu Chun retorted coldly and said without mercy, Of course, you reminded me how to solve the problem of pirates, solve? Good tone. The three legendary pirates of the future were all stimulated by Lu Chin's arrogance, and they all showed sneers on their faces. Lu Chen was too lazy to explain this. The next moment, the huge island broke away from the shackles of gravity, soared into the high-altitude clouds, and disappeared instantly. Buzz! The red barrier in the distance disappeared in an instant. Lu Chen. Sengoku was in mid-air. His figure gradually shrank, and after landing he turned into a normal human form. Damn it, they got away after all. He looked up at the direction where the island disappeared, with a very angry look on his face. Damn brother, why didn't you drag them with you just now? At this time, 
Garp came closer. Seeing that his opponents had run away, he suddenly looked unhappy. Stop talking nonsense. Those are Roger and Whitebeard. Lu Chin can't keep them. Sengoku raised his hand and put it on Garp's shoulder, asking him to calm down. In fact, it is indeed impossible to keep it. Even if Lu Chun opens the eight inner gates, faces Roger and other strong men, and has the assistance of Golden Lion's Lion Fruit ability, if he wants to leave, he won't be able to stay at all. In this case, I simply don't bother to take action anymore. Anyway, arresting most of Roger's pirate group has severely damaged this legendary pirate group, and it may never be able to recover. Let's go back first. Lu Chun waved his hand, waited for the warship to dock, and ordered the soldiers to escort the prisoners. The sea stone shackles are strong enough. No matter how powerful you are, you can't break free without the key. Half an hour later, under the adoring eyes of countless soldiers, Lu Chun, Garp and others returned to the warship. Oh my god, this is the vice captain of the legendary pirates. The total reward for the pirates arrested this time is as high as three billion belly. Damn it, you are worthy of being one of the four pillars of marine. This kind of mission is so cool. Many soldiers discussed it one after another, and all of them were very excited. Colonel Rick? Lu Chun turned his head and looked. Suddenly, the tall blonde man stood at attention solemnly. His Excellency Vice Admiral. Escort the prisoner to the temporary prison in the temporary cabin and order people to guard it 24 hours a day. No one is allowed to approach except our four Vice Admirals. After being ordered to go down, Colonel Rick took the order and left. Half of the Roger Pirates, a mighty and spectacular group, lined up on the deck and got into the cabin one by one. Rayleigh stepped in with half a foot, took one last deep look at Lu Chun, and then walked into the cabin. What awaits them is a long period of prison confinement. Until he returned to naval headquarters and returned to life. After a trial, the result was that he entered impelled down and spent his whole life in darkness. Watching the prisoners enter the cabin, Lu Chun stretched and then lay down on the beach chair. He glanced at Sengoku and the others who were hesitant to speak, and asked with a smile, You can ask if you want. If Roger, Golden Lion and others leave, there is no guarantee that they will not join forces with Rocks and others. Seeing that Lu Chun saw through it, Sengoku also frankly expressed his worries directly. To this, Lu Chun raised his hand and pointed in the direction of the cabin. This is why I left half of the Roger Pirates. The words fell. Sengoku and Ahi both looked enlightened. Chapter 23 Ding! Congratulations to host. You got 300,000 points. The justice sign-in is completed. Does the host sign in? After Sengoku and Ahi left, and there was no one around, the system notification sounded in his mind. As a righteous check-in system, as long as you pursue justice, such as catching pirates and killing bad guys, you can get corresponding points. Just like this time, half of the crew of the future Pirate King was arrested, and a rare six-figure reward was obtained. The function is simple, you can sign in immediately after reaching points. Sign in. Lu Chin lay on the beach chair, enjoying the bright sunshine, silently giving instructions in his heart. Next moment. Ding. Congratulations host. The sign in was successful. Ding. Congratulations to host. You got three fairy beans. Note. Fairy beans, a magical food from the world of Dragon Ball. This. Lu Chun, who had just laid down, suddenly sat up. Fairy beans? If you eat one, you will not be hungry for 10 days, and it has the power of regeneration. As long as the person is not dead, he can be resurrected in an instant with full blood. In addition to diseases, it can repair any injury and immediately replenish the consumed physical strength and energy. It can be said that this is a kind of murder and arson, a necessary life-saving medicine at home. Just then Lu Chin's mind moved. In the palm of his hand, three beans lay quietly. They were ordinary and looked similar to soybeans. However, if you sense it carefully, you can still notice that the beans contain surging vitality. If used with eight inner gates, Lu Chen's mind moved, and his face showed emotional fluctuations. Perfect. This time I signed in, it can be said that I made a lot of money. After putting away the fairy beans, Lu Chen lay down again and started to bring up the attribute panel. Because of the big battle just now, his proficiency in various abilities has improved. Moreover, the next justice check-in was also refreshed at the same time. Host Lu Chin Fruit, Thunder Fruit, Normal 99.9%, Hockey, Observation Color, 92%, Armed Color, 91%, Conquerors, 86%, Physical Skills, Marine 6 Styles, 93%, Gentle Fist, 88%, 8 Inner Gates, 
50%, template, Sinju Hashirama, wood style 79%, unlocked, ninjutsu, seal is self-healing, wood style wood clone, big scroll, four red young formation, taijutsu, monster power, blood succession limit, wood style secret technique, the birth of the tree realm, wood style flower arrival of the tree realm, wood style wooden dragon technique, wood style wooden golem jutsu, justice, 29 points, 500,000 until next check-in. Along with the change in proficiency, Lu Chen himself also felt that some changes had taken place throughout his body. The use of various abilities has reached an incredible level, like thunder fruit. In Lu Chen's understanding, if one reaches 100% proficiency, the next step is to awaken. Just like in the original work, the three future admirals now have the power to change nature and permanently change the climate of the other world. And conquerors hockey and taijutsu. Unsaid, the higher the proficiency, the deeper the understanding of physical skills, and naturally one can understand the secrets of various physical skills. It's a pity it was so close, otherwise I should have been able to unlock Sage Mode. The only thing Lu Chun feels pity for is the proficiency of Senju Hashirama Template. Just a little bit worse. That's 80% proficiency. At that time, you can unlock Senju Hashirama's strongest form, Sage Mode. In the Hokage world, even Uchiha Madara, who possesses nine tails, cannot compete with him. It is no exaggeration to say that apart from those cheating destiny's children, Senju Hashirama can be called the number one person under six paths. If you unlock them all, you can remain invincible even in the world of pirates. Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford The Marine configuration of this era is not as large as the original timeline. Marshal Marine will be stationed in the Holy Land of Mariehua, and Admiral Sora will basically handle all matters of the headquarters. Unless they encounter a major military mission, they will report it to the Holy Land. Dong dong dong. There was a knock on the door at Admiral's office. Come in. Kong replied. The office door opened and the communications officers and soldiers walked in. In addition to Sora Admiral, there is also Zephyr Vice Admiral here. The two were originally discussing the resource adjustment of Marine Academy. Complain Admiral. New World Reports Military Success. The communications officer quickly saluted the admiral in the air and reported. New world? Kong and Zephyr looked at each other, and their expressions instantly became serious. Say, Sora Admiral said in a deep voice. The fleet led by Lu Chin Vice Admiral had a big battle with the Roger Pirates, Rocks Pirates Whitebeard and Golden Lion. What? Before the communications officer could finish speaking, Kong Kong couldn't help clenching his hands into fists, his face calm and calm. The aura of the superior was released uncontrollably. As the person in charge of this military operation, no one knows the terror of the Roger Pirates and Whitebeard better than Kong. And precisely because of his understanding, he acquiesced to Garp's request. It can be said that there are Marine Mesozoic Sengoku and Garp, as well as Crane Vice Admiral assisting, purely to help Lu Chan escort. But, I didn't expect it. The worst result is still here. The war breaks out. It's hard to imagine how heavy Marines' losses were. Even Zephyr, who was sitting next to the sofa, frowned, with a trace of worry and solemnity on his face. How are Lu Chan and Sengoku doing? Sora asked through gritted teeth. Deep down, I have already assessed that the losses must be extremely heavy. Uh, the report is empty, Admiral. It was not mentioned in the success report. Hear the words of the communications officers and soldiers. Sora Admiral and Zephyr both showed a trace of confusion. Bring the good news. Sora directly raised his hand and asked the other party to give him the document. When he opened it, he saw that the admiral, the most powerful person in the naval headquarters, with the highest combat power above 10,000 people, had his eyes bulging out. This strange behavior frightened Zephyr's face, thinking that the result would be worse than imagined. But at this moment, Kong raised his head blankly, looked at Zephyr, and then looked at the information in his hand. Half of the Roger pirates? Arrested by our marine? The tone is full of disbelief. Chapter 24 Mr. Kong, what did you just say? Seeing Admiral's face changing, Zephyr sat aside and asked with difficulty. I have to say, this news is too unbelievable. See for yourself. After hearing Zephyr's words, Sara directly threw the information in his hand over. After just one glance, Zephyr couldn't help but take a breath, and his eyes were even rounder than Admiral's before. Although the communication officers and soldiers waiting respectfully already knew. But when I heard it again now, I still felt inexplicably shocked. Who are the Roger Pirates? This is a rather young but legendary pirate group. 
Captain G.O.L. D. Roger is the greatest pirate in the New World after rocks. You know, Marine has hunted him down dozens of times. Among them are Marine's new generation pillars, Garp the Fist, Buddha Sengoku, Black Arm Zephyr, and others. But in the end, the other party managed to escape every time. Now, half of the pirate group was actually arrested, including Pluton Rayleigh, Roger's right arm, and recognized as Roger's vice captain. This military operation can be described as extremely complete. Our Marines didn't suffer any losses at all. It's really unimaginable how they did it. Putting down the information in his hand, Zephyr let out a heavy breath, unable to calm down. To know, in addition to the Roger pirates, there are also two capable men of rocks in this battle. That was a great pirate no less than Roger. Unexpectedly, Marine not only suffered no losses, but also succeeded in arresting most of the Roger pirates. This brilliant record is enough to shock the entire naval headquarters. How you did it? We'll know when they come back and ask. At this time, Kong Admiral calmed down and said in a deep voice, But if you do this, will you directly push Roger to Rock's banner? Haha, -ha, Admiral is too worried. Half of Roger's pirate group is in the hands of our Marine. Isn't it difficult for him to anger Marine and directly execute his crew in public? Zephyr said confidently. Hearing this, Sora Admiral suddenly understood, and a smile appeared on his lips. Well, this military operation is the best counterattack against the pirate culture in the New World. I think the Holy Land should use it to promote it. Empty Admiral is clear. Both naval headquarters and world government are in urgent need of a publicity outlet to suppress Rock's pirates' arrogance. The arrest of half of the Roger pirates this time is obviously a good gap. Well, New World's pirate culture really needs to be cracked down on. Zephyr also nodded in agreement. As Kong Admiral said, when the success of this military operation was delivered to the Holy Land. First of all, a cordial greeting from Marshal Marine. Immediately afterwards, it came from world politics. Early the next morning, a notification from the world government spread throughout the world. Vice Admiral, the new generation general of Marine, led four warships to hunt down the Roger pirates and finally succeeded in capturing half of the Roger pirates. When this notification was passed on, countless people were shocked. Roger pirates? Are they the legendary pirates from New World? It is said that this is the only existence that dares to compete with Rock's pirate. Real or fake? Now even the vice captain has been captured by Marine. Do you know who the vice admiral is in this arrest? Codenamed Heavenly Punishment. Yes, and his real name is Monkey D. Luchon. It is said that he is the brother of Garp the Fist. F asterisk asterisk K. I know him. This be asterisk 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 D. Finally went to the new world. Uawa. When I just want to see. This demon sank the pirate ship. My captain and comrades were all captured by this family. But I was the only one who was lucky enough to escape. This news caused huge waves in Sea High, known as the Pirate Paradise, and in the first half of the Grand Line. Some pirates who curled up and did not dare to go to sea cried with joy. Especially the Sabaeity Archipelago. The residents on the island saw with their own eyes that some extremely vicious guys were holding newspapers and crying bitterly. And at the same moment, New World. Some deserted island. Boom. The huge floating sky island lands next to it. Heavenly Punishment? What an incredible name. After taking a look at the contents of the newspaper, Roger's curly black beard shook a few times and couldn't help but admire it. As expected of Garp's brother, we lost this time. After saying that, he jumped off the floating sky island. Behind him were Jabba and the other six or seven remaining crew members, all of whom had bitter faces. When I heard the captain's words, I couldn't even laugh or cry. Gulala, only you, Roger, can do such things as praising your enemies. Whitebeard stood on the edge of the floating sky island and laughed. Are you sure you don't want to join us? In that case, you still have a chance to take revenge on Marine. Or rescue guys like Rayleigh. Golden Lion held the handle of the knife at his waist with both hands and looked at Roger coldly and asked, I will remember this kindness, and I will show mercy to you again when we meet again. In response, Roger turned around, raised his chin, and smiled. The veins on Golden Lion's forehead were bulging and he almost couldn't help but take action on the spot. Gulalala, we're not here to help you. We just think that the people we rocks want to recruit can't just watch Marine take them away. Whitebeard scoffed. In fact, this is indeed the case. The person rocks pirate wanted to recruit was captured by pirates on the spot. If this spread, how would the sea view rocks pirate? So, they were helping Roger, but they didn't really want to help him. Ha ha ha, I knew it. 
but I will be lenient in the future. Roger laughed cheerfully. Thank you for being able to laugh. Golden Lion sneered at this, controlled the floating sky island, and left with Whitebeard without looking back. The mission assigned by the captain has failed, and we must return as soon as possible. Moreover, Marine also exceeded their expectations. The ability of the vice admiral was simply unheard of. This information must be communicated to the captain as soon as possible. The other side. For huge warships rode the wind and waves, galloping in the direction of the red line. You be asterisk 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 d. When did you call for heavenly punishment? Garp took the newspaper, violently pushed Lu Chin's office away, and asked carelessly. Curse. Lu Chin took one look at it and couldn't help but grinned. It's really a good code name. Obviously, this is the nickname given to him by world government, or in other words, naval headquarters. Just like Garp the Fist, Black Arm Zephyr, Buddha Sengoku, and more. They are all titles recognized by the outside world. Boy, you have made a great contribution this time. Garp stared at the careless Lu Chun, and his tone became serious. Tell me, what on earth is going on? What did you say? Lu Chun was stunned and couldn't help but sit up straight. It's rare to see my brother with such a serious expression. Snort. Garp snorted coldly, lowered his voice deliberately, and asked, What's going on with those abilities of yours? Was that what you were talking about? Lu Chin suddenly understood. When he looked at his brother again, his eyes were blazing and hot. Chapter 25 In this battle, Lu Chin's strength was beyond everyone's imagination. In addition to thunder fruit, there's also that ability to manipulate plants. Of course, what worries Garp the most? It's not these abilities that he thinks are flashy. Rather, when did Lu Chun become so powerful? Half a year ago, he had a fight with his little brother. Although the final result was not crushing, the victory was not difficult. But it's only been half a year. Resisting Roger for a moment is not difficult to do. However, if you want to defeat Pluton Rayleigh and half of the pirate group in a very short period of time, you cannot do it with strength alone. Even if the controlled plants are weird. But who is the enemy? As for being so vulnerable, right? Therefore, it can only be shown that Lu Chin's current strength is beyond imagination. You be asterisk 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 d. Are you practicing secretly behind my back, or do you know some new methods of cultivation? Garp crossed his arms and stared at Lu Chin angrily, as if he would not give up until he received a satisfactory answer. Brother, since I joined the Marine Corps, I have been out at sea on missions to fight pirates, so how much time do I have to practice? Putting aside his careless attitude, Lu Chin spread his hands and said, he had already expected this scene. You can't escape by running away. Moreover, Garp should have been hired back then, but Garp has endured until now, which is beyond Lu Chin's expectations. It seems that the fact that half of the Roger pirates were captured is quite shocking to Marine. I have made such rapid progress even if I don't have time to practice. Is there any way? Garp naturally didn't believe Lu Chin's words and asked with doubtful eyes. To be honest, yes. Lu Chin said frankly. As soon as this statement came out, Garp's eyes suddenly brightened, and he looked as if he was like this. But the next moment, Lu Chun said helplessly, but I'd better not know about this method of improving strength. After all, the load on the body is difficult for ordinary people to bear. You be asterisk 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 d. Do you think your brother is an ordinary person? Garp said dissatisfied. But this method consumes vitality to stimulate potential, and can only temporarily improve strength. Don't talk about that. You still remember how much effort I put into making you strong. I remember being beaten and beaten every day. What are you talking about? This is part of the penance. But I promised that I would never teach it to anyone except my own students. Teacher Lu Chan. Before Lu Chan could finish speaking, Garp opened his mouth and interrupted him directly. However, the next moment the tone was full of threats. If you don't satisfy me, you be asterisk 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 d. You know the iron fist of love, right? As he spoke, he raised two fists as big as clay pots. In response, Lu Chun could only smile bitterly. Unexpectedly, in order to find a way to continuously become stronger, my brother has really gone out of his way to find a way to become stronger. He lost. However, before teaching, you still need to be vigilant, so as not to play with fire and burn yourself. After all, the eight inner gates are a taboo technique that burns vitality to enhance strength, and the sixth gate was fine before opening. If the seventh gate or above is turned on, even Lu Chun himself, with Senju Hashirama's physique and ability, didn't dare to put too much pressure on him. Two hours later. Hey, 
You be asterisk 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 d. You're hiding such a good thing from your own brother. It's really too much. After Garp successfully opened fifth gate, he left happily. Looking at this guy's angry back, Lu Chun doubted whether he had listened to the previous warning. But it doesn't matter. Lu Chun was able to open the seventh gate and even the eighth gate because of the direct integration of system rewards. And Garp, no matter how powerful your physical skills are, it is already extraordinary to be able to open the fifth gate after just practicing eight inner gates. The remaining six seventh gates would be difficult to sense without a year and a half of practice. That's all. After several days of sailing at full speed, the four warships finally arrived within Marine Sphere of Influence. And at the same time, New World, Beehive Island, Headquarters of Rock's Pirate, Rumble, the huge floating sky island penetrated the thick clouds and descended from high altitude, setting off a strong, evil wind. It's Captain Golden Lion and Captain Whitebeard. The pirates on Beehive Island all looked at this. I saw two burly figures. After jumping from the floating sky island, the terrifying coercion gave these pirate boys a great inner deterrent. The two of them entered the depths of the island as if there was no one around. From far away, I could already hear the laughter and laughter coming from inside. Not long after, bonfires and wine barrels can be seen everywhere and food is piled on the ground, emitting an appetizing aroma. Not far away is a huge palace-style building. Whitebeard turned around, walked to a pile of wine barrels, picked up a barrel and started drinking. Don't throw the barrel aside until it's empty. Then, he once again brought up a bucket of wine and seemed to have completely forgotten what he wanted to report to the captain. Newgate. Golden Lion looked ugly and reminded in a bad tone. Don't disturb Lousy for drinking. The mission failed. What else is there to say? Whitebeard sat on the barrel and sneered. After finishing speaking, he picked up another wine barrel, raised his head and started drinking gurglingly. Maid, you should go then. Golden Lion's forehead was covered with black lines, and he was holding back his anger. But he couldn't help it. The entire pirate group knew that Whitebeard had this kind of character. Even if Rox comes, if he doesn't want to, it will be difficult to force him. This mission was only about Roger, so it only interested him a little bit. Usually they stay on the ship or only participate in major battles. In the end, Golden Lion had no choice but to walk in on his own. Entering the lobby, I haven't had time to see it clearly. Oh hey, hey hey, Shiki, you look very bad. It seems that the mission has failed. A rough voice teased and laughed. Turn around and look. Kaido, a young man who was as tall and strong as Whitebeard, grinned widely. Maid. The veins on Golden Lion's forehead bulged, and his hands suddenly grasped the handle of the knife at his waist, and he was about to draw the knife and strike. Well, Shiki, don't scare Brother Kaido. Bigum, who was tall and charming and wearing a top hat, came over with a long knife and stood in front of Kaido. The mission failed? You can tell by the stinky face you put on. Haha, <laughs> you are with Newgate, and you can fail. John, Silver Axe and others next to him all said in cheers. Golden Lion almost exploded with anger. At this moment, he wanted to drag Whitebeard in to see if these guys dared to use such an expression. Ah, we already know about recruiting Roger. At this time, a wild and cold voice sounded from the other end of the lobby. God's punishment, Garp's brother, Marine's monster is really scary. The words fell. The people who were noisy suddenly became quiet. Rox, who was getting taller and taller, with a head full of black hair and dressed in a captain's outfit, asked with a grin, Is it because this little guy appeared that your mission failed? Thanks for watching. You can find the next videos in the playlist linked in the info card, directly on my channel, or right here on the screen. And as always, if you have any feedback, feel free to share it in the comments too.